Just huh? got bigger. Yeah. I'm drinking hot tea like an old bitch while y'all are having whiskey. I thought it was hot chocolate. No, hot tea. I don't drink hot chocolate. It's sweet. Like an old bitch, he said. Like an old bitch. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, that's about it. One. Boom, and welcome to the Big Honker Podcast brought to you by the boys at the Looking Glass Duck Club. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world famous Andy Shaver. We are ass today, is what we are. We are ass. We are ass. We are ass. It's official too. We it is. We beat their ass this morning. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you're talking about. We're the Association so- of yeah. Stork Shooters. Yes. Ass. Association of Stork Shooters. Well, good for y'all. Yeah. yeah. And and the president, uh, Scotty Goggles, is here. Yeah, the president. That's yeah. right. He's outside. Uh, I think he's getting liquored up. I think you know, he's going to tie one on. You know, he did not embarrass you one bit when he was your uh, liaison for the last hunt y'all had here. That's what he told me. He did, he told you he didn't embarrass you. Well, that don't always count, <laughs> you know, because I've told Michelle that many times we've left some places, and I said, well, I didn't I didn't embarrass, embarrass you. you at all. <laughs> That's not the way I remember it, Jeffrey. <laughs> it was pretty surprising that he didn't embarrass us. So. He done really good. He tipped well, too. He's embarrassing when we're around, so I'm starting to think maybe it's us. <laughs> he did. He did leave a $1,000 tip and said, I need to get your credit card. So rebel, so I need okay. to get that card. It's a little reimbursement. Yeah. Bounce it. <laughs> Tax write off. Actually, Logan had so much faith in him. Logan says, "Did he leave a tip?" I said, "No." Well, fuck! I'll send you a thousand dollars. I said, "No, he tipped everybody." <laughs> okay. So you had no faith in him. Why? You, do you like the deal we got here? Put, put, the, put that on the big screen. It's not that I don't have faith in Scotty Goggles. It's just Scotty Goggles sometimes gets in his own way. What are you going to finish with I that thing? That, this is called the Stanfield Finitor. You're going to finish yourself with that thing? No, no. It's, it's a sharpened blade where you whack their heads off with it. Yeah, same. Yeah. It's, it's a nice gift. It was a nice gift. Somebody's just heavy duty. Heavy. He, Come from a, California. Yeah. It is pretty bad. Mr. Donovan gave us yeah, that. We'll pretty keep, neat. We'll keep it right there. It's not for mounters then. No. No, no, no. no, no, no. Taxiderms have a hard time putting the head back on. It's actually in case somebody storms mm-hmm. through that door. Jeff, Jeff's the first line of defense right there. You can gonna, finish hogs with that. He doesn't have a pistol on his side on his side like old West Texas anymore. Oh, so I was gonna say, heaven forbid, are you, we just are you use guns. packing right now? These Jeff. Yes. Mm. Guy came That's in all my I office. Need. A guy came in my office, Mingo, and he went to close the door. I said, "You don't have to close the door." I said, "Sure, you're gonna whip my ass or something." He goes, <clears> "You're pretty big boy. I don't think I'm gonna jump on your ass." I said, "Well, I'm too old to fight anymore, so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I would probably write you a check." And just let's go around. <laughs> but my muscle in there, Logan Pyatt's in there. Well, you still have Tony also. Tony's you, He's you, getting you, in shape now. Oh, God, yeah. I haven't heard it about that yet. <laughs> Someone's keeping him young, right? We pulled in yesterday. He, Tony was the first person Was he I wearing saw. his yoga shorts and running around? No, he just had on a, a, that shirt, Stanfield shirt. He's the first person I saw, so I was like, oh, Tony. And I went over, gave him a hug, and the first thing out of his mouth, he's like, no, it's a lost weight. I've been getting in shape. I'm like, <laughs> no, See that, didn't. buddy? You look good. He didn't say that. I promise. I'm so First thing? The first thing. First I don't know who mouth. my mom was sleeping with other than my dad, but <laughs> God almighty, there's no way me and Tony are brothers. Well, it wasn't a good to see you, Logan. It was just, no, it's I no, lost so weight. No, lost weight? I was he like, was yeah. just standing yeah. over in the grass when we pulled out the finger in his belly button. So. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome just, to Texas, yeah. Looking <laughs> so horny. <laughs> Licking the laundry and laying off his finger. Who got coming down? Who got coming down? Drive here. We knew you boys from those arcs, so he didn't know which way y'all went. Finger in his belly button. We all look at each other like, "Oh, it's good to be back." <laughs> How about all this weight I've lost? Yeah, Jesus, that's never a sign. Well, he told me why, so good for him. We're proud of him. Yeah. yeah. If you follow him, evidently the pheasant guide, he knows he knows his route. Like he spies on him at night. Six miles. He's been posted on Facebook. No, 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 no. no. Where he hit the uh, rendezvous point. Oh, they're they're meeting back there. Yeah, and they went having sex in the I car. Don't have, I don't. I know. have no idea about any of this. You know what I tell everybody? What? I don't care. Is he not an adult? <laughs> <laughs> he has a very good point. <laughs> he has a house. I thought he had a house to yeah. go to. I have no. I honestly I think it's have the thrill more than married. Anything. I have honestly got to be. <laughs> I honestly have stayed out of this whole deal because people are like, "What about Tony?" I, what about him? Listen. I don't care if Tony's sleeping with Pee Wee Herman, Britney Spears, or whoever he is, or whatever he's doing. I don't care, and I don't. You would be mad if Tony was sleeping with Britney Spears. You'd, you'd be, jealous. be jealous. No, I'd sure. be jealous, yes, definitely. Yeah. No, that bitch is crazy. Then yeah, I would be. It'd be a lot of fun. You'd be standing there with your own finger <laughs> yeah. in your own belly. Yeah, like, watching that. <laughs> she went missing. They don't know where she's that. at. Her she's and, gone? It was her and somebody else. Her husband? No. Uh, it's another oh, celebrity. Oh, Kanye West. Yeah. Her they and think Kanye. he got bumped. 
Really? Think they, they knocked no. him off? He's still there. That's conspiracy. They think he got bombed. That I'm is. telling you, that's the story is he spoke out against the deep state. They think they killed him. He wouldn't be the first person. Well, you can't if, talk that much shit about the Jews without getting knocked off. Yeah, eventually. he was saying or some weird stuff. If Jeffrey Epstein though. can get knocked off in prison. Yes. In maximum security prison. Then, by God, Kanye West can too. Hey, Every, everybody has a price. So here's a stat that I saw, and I don't know if it's true or not, but it sounds those, good. Those are the best kind. I, love, sound, I love when it starts like that. <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded really good. Let me get to where. Oh, okay. Okay, one in 5,000 young men have heart issues from the COVID <laughs> yearly... Uh, can't say it, can you? I, you can't. You'll get kicked off. Yearly Kamosha Cordis cases, mm-hmm. the, the thing that we saw in the Bills game, yeah. 15 a year, rarely over the age of 20. 1,600 athlete cardiac arrests since January of 21. 69% of them are fatal. Average athlete cardiac before the was 29 years. I don't know what that means, though. We're having the same amount in one year as we used to have in a 30-year span, basically. There's the same amount of times it started from 1993 to 2020. 1992 to 2022, there's the same amount we've had since January 1 of 2022 to now. Are you surprised? You're saying people are hitting harder now. (laughs) <laughs> yes, that's yeah, exactly what the Bigger, speed, faster, stronger. Yeah. I actually had a guy message me today on Instagram. We reach a well, broad spectrum of people because we get a lot of different deals. Guy told me he played kid baseball with the kid that this happened to. Got hit yeah. by a pitch, it's ran to first common. base, and fell over. And he in the kid's life, he was very lucky. They I got him sport. right there. It's happens. They I mean, said it's very common in smaller kids because they don't have the muscle on right. their on their chest to deflect things like that. So like a kid, yes. so basically, it can baseball, never happen to me. Right. No, right. you're way too, way too, way too thin. I mean, when you pop Tony's shoulder into, that was the chance it was going to happen to right. him, and it didn't either because he was well, well, uh, padded. I guess would be the word. But to for use. kids in, in well, like not now, baseball, Rebels lost weight since last year. Mm-hmm. Somebody said uh, lacrosse. A lacrosse ball hit a kid, and he died, or he had the same thing happen to him. Baseball and lacrosse, the two most common sports that it happens in. For this were, thing to happen in, because were they both? Mm, is that is that how you did I, it? Did I, I, I do I that know. wrong? I, you did it. The delivery but was all now, wrong. Oh, but my bad. We know what you the, meant. The football player did have that a week ago. Allegedly. Yeah, supposedly his doctor come out. Now, Now Andy's a TikTok doctor believer, so I don't know. This TikTok was on Instagram. Or not Instagram. No. What a TikTok. Instagram just, doctor said that he did give him this kid the injection, which I don't think he could do because of HIPAA rules, but said that it had right. nothing to do with this incident, that this incident was the very rare time that the heart is hit at the right time. Trust me, I had a big, I got a big education on this last night from my youngest son. So that's what that commotion, commotion cordis. Yeah, that's basically it's just, I mean, getting hit at the right, wrong right. time. The one millisecond that the heart is at a certain spot and you hit it and it knocks it out of whack. Gotcha. Trust me, I got the whole education last night about how this has nothing to do with that. It has to do with this. And I said, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm just saying there's a whole lot of people dying from the, than the, the people want to right talk around about. that, right around that age gap. Yes, and it, it's yeah, we get uh, taken down. Young, I, it's like how we just keep going. <laughs> yeah, young, young, young people dying is not normal. Especially, if you look in the statistics of our country, we're, we're I'm a, I call it a ninety percent because ninety percent of the time this is the facts. Ninety percent of the time we don't have young people die unless we're in wartime. You know, yeah. nineteen forty to nineteen forty six, there was a, a big increase in the young people that died because they were getting killed fighting for our country. Vietnam, Korea, stuff like that. Right. It ain't happening. But all of a sudden now we're in peace times. We've been in peace times. I mean, even we didn't have a large number of people that got killed fighting for our country in the last 50 years. It just hasn't happened. But there's been a huge spike in deaths of young people. Well, wars just are all because, fought on computers now. So Right. I okay. see what this it, it, This was said before the – it was 29, 29 athletes a year could have cardiac incidents. You said lacrosse and baseball were the two top sports? I, I said that, yes, for yeah. deaths – on that, I'm not really hockey. Familiar also, with lacrosse, is another one. Say that one wouldn't surprise me. But yeah. Lacrosse is it the sticks or the balls or do it's the they, balls? I think it they don't the have ball. but they don't have pads. Like hockey right. has sh- uh, wears well, they, shoulder. Pads. Lacrosse wears a little bit of pads. I don't think they. But have I don't a think it goes pad. down very far. Yeah, and it's. I mean, it's pretty full contact too. And then I yeah. mean, they run into each other and shit. There've been a lot of soccer players though. Mm-hmm. Actually, a sport with no no contact, no contact at all. A lot of flopping. LeBron James would have made a hell of a soccer player because he's a flopper. He'd been a real good one. He would hell of a goalie. Yeah, we've talked about this, haven't we? Probably. Why not just put LeBron James as a goalie and like Tyreek Hill as a whatever the fuck they're called, strikers and all that shit? Because it'd be hockey and nobody gives, I mean, it'd be soccer and nobody gives two shits. 
Yeah, fair, what, fair point. How, how much of the World Cup did you guys watch? Because I can tell you how much watch zero. Almost watched some. Almost watched some. Yeah. <laughs> it was close. Got I was going else. to. I was flipping channels. And that <laughs> motherfucker was there, and I, I didn't get to get flipped fast enough. <laughs> the only thing I really saw about that was, uh, what, what was her name? Miss Croatia. They kept oh, showing her. Oh, she was her. a smoke show. What happened? She had, didn't see She it. had beautiful boob Oh, work. they were going <laughs> to they were gonna arrest her, weren't they? Yeah, because she was showing too much skin over there. Well, she had everything out. Apparently, Qatar is not that much fun of a place. No. Yeah, so it's, it's not on my like it's it. not on my bucket list. No, no, they didn't serve alcohol there, and everybody died building it. Well, anytime you uh, make fun of soccer, though, the pro soccer people they are a passionate group. Yes, they are. And soccer is uh, very widely viewed across the world, but to me, it's uh, yeah, not a big. I, if I not, it's not for America. If no, I offend no. someone by saying soccer sucks, I'm sorry, but I'm not a soccer fan. I've tried to watch it. I don't get it. You are a great athlete. There's get, no doubt about it. Very You're in great shape. You're, it's your sport. <laughs> you talking reason, Rebel? No, yeah. I'm just talking oh, about I'm talking people in general. <laughs> Keep going. But, you are a great athlete. There's no doubt about that. But quite, quite the fluff goal. The, the, the people that are into soccer that are, are countries that they can't afford to play football. They don't understand the game. I don't understand what that's it is. Miss Croatia. It is a, oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. But that's there's nothing gracious. about soccer that's enjoyable other look than Miss Croatia. Look at those perverts right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his like, dirty bastards. They, well, they were probably so confused because they're actually seeing a woman's skin. Well, they're, they're like, that's what it what looks like. What is this? They can't decide whether to cut her head off or <laughs> yeah. or, or, ma- or masturbate. Yeah. They don't know what to do. I'd give her daddy's a hundred camels for her hand in marriage. <laughs> is that the one that got topless that got in trouble? See, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Somebody got topless Someone there, did. and they were going to arrest them. Actually, two of them. Did. Pull that. Yeah, up. but they were not. That's not her. It was the there chicks. She is. Nice girl. It was the chicks from Brazil or somewhere. And they had the Brazilian flags okay. painted over their nip nips. Oh, well, you know. that also confused some of the locals. Yes, <laughs> we we don't see this. What else ever. can we look up on this thing? Look up anything you want. You want to? <laughs> send you that video. <laughs> Logan's I been like? really into a video lately. No, it's a I triple don't. anal. It's hilarious. Triple, Three triple. No. Well, the the I, bad thing is, if you watch the video, which Logan can show you later, <laughs> the poor guy in the middle, right? So yeah. They're all in the same spot. Right. And the guy in the middle is just kind of sitting there, and the guy on top and bottom of him working it, I mean, he... And when he gets it's off, like, he realizes it was him. strictly because. Oh the, no! The, it was because of the two pen, the penis. Now you get it. Ah. That was the only friction that guy was getting was the two dicks rubbing <laughs> on top of his dick. Everybody we met yesterday, he Saw showed it? them the triple anal. Beer. I couldn't quit laughing. Did you show the lady in Dollar General? <laughs> no, but so there they. That's Argentina. Okay. Oh, they were going to arrest them. Ah uh, yes. What What are they doing wrong? Well, Freeing the nips. My people. You know. <laughs> You in I Qatar, in Qatar, like that's you could probably lose your head for that. A six foot three redheaded Argentinian. You know that, what it is? It's showing them over here. Those, what those are are stupid women right there. Why they are taking? They are actually putting their life in danger. Yeah. over something stupid. Yeah, but do you think smart. that they? I mean, they don't look like rocket scientists. Do you really think that they knew that they were in because they're blonde? Way? They look like a lot of fun, is what they look like. Yeah. But look, at, that's I mean, the kind of girl in a crowd you'd be looking for right now. Logan, am I right at a bar? When he's at Kansas State, that's who you'd want to hang out with, wasn't it? <laughs> that, a girl that looked like that would not have wanted to hang out with me at Kansas State, but sure. But, but it's working but out. But you would have liked to hang out with her. Uh, she looks like a very nice girl. I mean, it's working out for him. The yes. largest podcast in Knox City, Texas, that's right. is now and we're talking now talking about, about, about him. him. Mm-hmm. So really, they got what they wanted. Um, but they are they are some they were not very smart women. That's the women that you're friends with. Are, are you you know and you're like them bitches are crazy but boy I sure hope she goes home with me tonight. let's uh <laughs> let's 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 break off into some of that real quick oh sure oh, absolutely is this the Randy Rogers whiskey I oh the, the one on them is Randy Rogers Hold yeah on. Randy Rogers made this just for you oh, bottled uh, it which I one's think Randy Rogers did Reb's uh, a big Randy Rogers guy who, who sent this would Josh Gore send these uh, I can't remember I think Josh Gore did it because you would not, not re- just, you would not return his phone call. That's not true. That's what no, he said. Man. He said, listen, he goes, Logan's so big time now. Does he still talk to you? I said, no, actually, he doesn't hardly talk to me ever. So I understand your pain. And I apologize to you last I, night. And, and, Fucker, and, and, I, I don't know remember. That. Let me see the bottles, and I'll tell you which one it is. He's been going through an identity crisis. Slow River <laughs> is that's that's it right, that's it right there. Apparently, my apology fell on yeah. deaf ears. No, it is. I didn't say nothing bad. Is the other one okay. Austin sent something Austin? Still Austin. Yeah, that's the one that's Randy Rogers. Is. He right. said that's a hard two. <laughs> oh, can't wait. <laughs> I guess we'll try it since it's Randy's. That was my old oh nickname boy. in high school. Part two, part two, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hate to dog anything of Randy Rogers because we late, love him. But I was a late bloomer. I want to say it's Josh that sent this. I can't remember now. So How hard you, is it now? If it wasn't Josh that sent this, hard thank you, and Josh. Half. And whoever sent this, please let me know, and I will give you a shout-out for sending this. But they said we were going to send this to them, but I say, he said, Logan will never even return our phone call. No. I, he, I, yes, he did. It's not, I'm telling well, you. Well, it's not phone calls. It was uh, Facebook Messenger. I don't check that at all. And then you called me, and you're like, Josh Gore's sad. 
kind of being a, a bitch about I this. I don't think that's what I said. <laughs> I don't think I said that no, at all. No, I don't mean that. Josh Glor's fine. Him and I have gone back and Did forth. Did you not hear how fun. Josh Glor punked Logan? Yeah, so I I got, uh, or I sent on Facebook, I, I put my phone number. I'm like, here's my cell phone Go number. Go give your number out. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'll give it out. <laughs> yeah. Let me look it over here. Have some Eight of that, one. too. Okay, perfect. Uh, but I was like, here's my f- cell phone number. If you ever need to get a hold of me, then this is the best way to do it. And <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. He said that he's not going to. I'm uh, not giving you my number. Yeah, he goes, I'm not giving you my number. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. But then he texts me on Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is Josh Gore. Oh. Logan was very upset. Not liking it on the nose? The first smell I got of it is like black licorice almost. Like a, I can't believe I'm drinking this on ice. I forgot I had another cup underneath. Well, just pour it in the other cup real quick. Or pour another one. Yeah, we got plenty of cups. Brought to us by Dirty Duck. Ducks Unlimited. Ducks Unlimited. Oh, it was Ducks Unlimited. I thought you guys said it was Dirty Duck. These cups are badass. Ducks yeah, Unlimited caps. Oh, it makes sense now because there's the Ducks Unlimited there's the logo. There's Ducks Unlimited. Yep. The only one. Stanfield Hang Outfitters, you can drink out of Ducks Unlimited cups every day. So they're they're awesome. Provided to you by DU. Yes, they are. Great. We were going to steal a shitload of them. That's heavy in the clove. Yeah, yes, I think that's, that's what, what I got out of it, that's too. That's what I'm smelling. Yeah, I got the Taste clove. It's like pure clove. I said clove, yeah, black clove, licorice, me too. whatever. Yeah. I think it's more clove than anything. It's unique. <laughs> that's a nice way of saying it tastes like shit. That is a two. Randy, oh. better stick to the music. Um, Boy, is that sweet. Overly sweet. And clovish. And clovish. Very clovish. Mm. Clove were those things back when we were in high school. Everyone would go up Omaha to the smoke shop and buy clove cigarettes. Missy years. Right. Missy years. And we'd sit around and smoke them and listen to them pop, and everyone would drool and their mouth would go numb because something was really (laughs) fucked up about (laughs) cloves. Bolly high. And I just don't trust cloves now. (laughs) Heisenweizen whiskey, a blend of straight wheat whiskeys, lightly lightly clove. Macerated with lemon peel and clove. Okay. 80 proof. No wonder it's a little thin. So that's not good. I'll give it a hard two. Eighty proof is not what. What What do you try to stay at? Reb likes hundreds. I like nineties to a hundred. Yeah, anywhere near is good. So, like this one is. I think you have as a cast strength. This is probably like a hundred and. Oh, you're fixing to taste it in a minute. So we have to try this one this, too. This, yes. This, oh, this one's been aged for two years. This flowery. That's shit. terrible, isn't it? it. <laughs> that's, it's I'm not a clove fan. Even young. if I'm making pickles and stuff, and you get pickling spice, I, yeah. I pick the cloves out, man. Fuck cloves. Mm. I'm just, never, just never have trusted them. That's 118 proof. We're going on a, me and Michelle are going to go to uh, Turkey with Boss to the Turkey Federation. And we're going to go do a, on the way back, I think we're going to, I was going to fly, but I think we're going to drive because I want to go on the bourbon tour. Always wanted to do that. Down through Kentucky? I don't give two shits about drinking a bunch of stuff. I just want to see all that. I think it'd be neat to see how that. Why is bourbon stuff. popular right now? We've it's talked trendy. about this. Why? What? What has started this trend? Us? No, that's I, not I true. Would, I, I want to think so. No, I, I wish it, it's. It, uh, it kind of took off. What four or five years ago? Really, didn't it? It was about the time you and I started being buddies. It, and- it was vodka a long time ago, and that's when all vodkas went from just being vodka to all this flavored vodka. Tito's and Deep Eddies and shit like well, that. Well, that came that in late. Mean? That came in later, but it used to be just Grey Goose and Smirnoff and a couple other ones, and then vodka got to be trendy, and then they went to. Grapefruit vodka, lemon vodka, vanilla vodka, all these sky, all these cucumber vodka. Yes, that's big too. Yeah, and my then, wife loves it. And then it went from Tom that. Tom Brady does too. Then it went from that to of she does. Uh, what are we having now? Uh, the bourbon's the big thing, and bourbon will play out in the next twenty years or something. There'll be something else. I hope scotch it does. was before vodka. It was scotch. If you were a professional drinker like you guys are, y'all were scotch drinkers a long time ago. Yeah, piss on that. Scotch it tastes like shit. I'm telling you, it's an acquired taste. So you're going to go through this whole bourbon tour in Kentucky. You're not going to try any of I'll it. I'll try. Some. I tasted that shit right there. That was you'll, shit. You'll go by Makers and the Buffalo Trace mm-hmm. Distillery, Jim I'm, Beam. I want to see all the old things. I, I like antiques and history. Yeah, that's cool. So I, I keep Michelle around. I'm bu- trying to think back, Andy. If like five, six years ago, when bourbon really did take off. Uh, if there was some kind of big show or something, was it Mad Men? You know what? Scotch, you might right? actually be on to something. They had that's probably been in ten years. That's what he drank all the time. Yeah. Mad Men. He drank bourbon. That's actually a really good deal. There has to be something that got right. people makes sense because after Breaking Bad, meth took off big. It is, big. especially big. here. And now yeah. you can get a lot better quality. Did meth. you see Bougie or some rapper come out today and said we got to get off the meth and get back on crack? Well, he's, he's right. He's, 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 I mean, I'm serious. I can't make the, this shit up. Save the people. He is. Tr- that's what he said. He goes, "We got to get people off of these uh, opioids and get back on crack." <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone remember what crack did in the eighties? <laughs> yeah, I ran was there. through everybody. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> crack wasn't good. I don't no. understand why crack is so much more addictive. I mean, it's it's not hard to make. That, that's but it's cheap. 
is one reason. Well, it's cheap. You cut you cut the cocaine and put use baking soda well, and then you and boil they it. Smoke it. You you cook it and it right. it's the hard crust part of it. You you can take a hundred dollars worth of cocaine mm -hmm. and make a thousand dollars worth of crack. There's a masterpiece song that uh, gives you step by step examples and recipes on how to make crack. Yeah, the, I passed on that one, but I've watched P. a lot of shows on it. The song's called "Make Crack Like This." If you ever want to listen to it, I thought it was just uh, cocaine and baking soda or something. With no, some there's water. then you boil they, it. They, I think. they do something. They add some chemical to it, and then oh. they they. But it, it was it was a cheap drug. Yeah, and yeah the, no doubt. It was pushed on the black people in the ghettos. That's where it came, you know. Hey, you can't afford government cocaine. Did it. Let's give you a crack. There's I a big agree. piece. There's the a big bunch of people that said that. There's well, that and they freebased it. They smoked it, so they got high so much faster and stayed that way so much longer and became that much more addictive than just cocaine. Have you ever seen the show New Jack City? Oh yeah, it's a really good my show. Brother's keeper. So. That's a really good show, and they uh, and it's show shows about how it comes into Jamaica, New York, you know. From Jamaica, and West, they're like, "Hey, this is the Pike. new shit," and try that. It's a great show, man. I, I've, any, I've scrolled through all of the n words here, so I think I'm ready to recite this song. <laughs> scroll through all the n words. <laughs> it is it's like Blazing Saddles. Yeah. They take out all the bad parts, and it thinks three minutes long. You get the baking. So yeah, you got to go all the way down, all the way down for the recipe. The rest of it's just like n words. Uh, you get the baking soda. I got the D. He's got and, a dick. And get the triple beam and measure out yo dope. Mix one gram of soda for every seven grams of Coke and shake it until it bubbles up and get harder. Then sit the tube in some ready-made cold water, twist the bitch like a knot while it's still hot, <laughs> and watch that shit That's a rock sex move. and rise to the fucking top. First That's off, how you do it. Jeff, I Make nailed like the this. recipe for crack. There was no chemicals, no <laughs> it was just baking additives. Soda. Yeah, he what? tried to talk to me like I wasn't a king in the crack <laughs> game. Did you hear that when I gave him the recipe? He's like, no, 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 no. no, no, no. He was like, well, you, you're you going to need some battery acid, uh, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> a little Himalayan salt. Rather, you're going to need vinegar. <laughs> no, man, baking like, soda and Coke. Wait, no, no, that's how you make soup. He's like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I am starving. <laughs> I thought you were trying to get me to make delicious uh, potato soup. <laughs> Which not, we not, did have today. We did. God I don't know if mom. crack's dying down, but if it is, it does not need a comeback. That thing seemed devastating. I'm ready to get through this and like move on to better it's, things. It's not getting uh, I poured better. Way too much. I did too. <laughs> do you ever do that like just on like regular on like a, your regular show when you don't know what the what it's gonna be like? Like you pour a whole handle. Well, we have little Glen Karens. Uh huh. They're like two ounces, right? Or two, two or three Five ounces. Ounce. Oh, they're they're that much. Well, the little ones are four. I guess ours are four point some. So. so you you can shoot that back, no problem. But we definitely pour too much in here. And we're only doing one bourbon per show. So you therefore, never, you never. Why don't you ever mix? Just because you wanna you wanna enjoy that bourbon. Yeah, I mean, basically, and there's it only changes throughout the show, throughout time, as it breathes, as you get a little more intoxicated. So that's going to get better, you saying? Oh, or it absolutely. could get worse. It would get better. <laughs> if that was all we were drinking? Not Doesn't all alcohol get better <laughs> as you're actively drinking it? This is true. And 50, 60 bucks a bottle. I mean, you're talking 100, 120 bucks an episode if we wanted to, to have a couple. We have done some where we've actually drank a couple bottles in one episode. Didn't we? This and we started on a third or fifth, I think, didn't good. we? But even if the booze really sucks... It will get better by the end of it, and we'll keep drinking the same one just to keep giving it a chance. I think Randy Rogers is... Yeah. I think he's slipping? He's the only good thing about that. Stick to music, Randy. You want to try something else, then? That or get off your clove horse, man. Here, I'll fuck it. I'm just going to shoot it. You're just going to shoot it? Shooters. 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 Association of Sort Shooters. I poured entirely way too much to do shooters. Let me see. You'll be all right. It's about how much I have. Shooters. Right, another one now? <clears throat> shooters. That Randy Rogers shit. Mm. He played in Knox City. Jeff Jeff got him to do a free concert here. No, he was free, but it wasn't free for the. Well, no, no, no. Somebody had to pay for him, but for oh. the, for the viewers, no, the people got it for free. Thirty five thousand dollars. How much? Thirty five thousand. I think is what we paid him. I think he's fifty. How long now? ago was it? Four or five years, years ago? ago? No, it was about four or five years ago. That's a pretty good deal. I mean, he, four or five years Shit, ago, it might have been six or seven years ago. Six seven years ago, he was really in stride. Um, was Jameson born yet? Reese born yet? Hmm. Yeah, Reese was born. Reese and Dylan went to the concert with us. Boy, so it was six years ago, I bet. I Party in the park. It gives me the dirty shivers. He was, <laughs> yeah, he was pretty Texas big six, seven years ago. He was he real was. big at that time. We had a bunch of people come there. I got Him, to go on Kevin the, Fowler. Got to go on the bus. 
visit with him. Nice talk to him. Nice. I actually, the guy that his violin player is really the coolest dude on the deal. Brady Black. Yeah, he's really cool. I enjoyed visiting with him. I on think the they deal. call it a fiddle down here. Whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna play in Texas, you ever heard that song? Yeah, Alabama sings it. And they're from it, Alabama. You have to have a violin in the band. Somebody from Alabama tells us that shit, and so about <laughs> Texas. So, did anybody Anyways. steal all his uh, copper uh, wire when he was here playing a show? <laughs> no, <laughs> because we actively watched a crime yesterday and Monday. Really? We walked out of the dollar store, and there oh, was yeah. this guy that came out from behind a building, looked real, real sketchy. How do you? What do you consider sketchy? I mean, please explain what sketchy looks like. Just ratty clothes, uh, sweaty. If you yeah, were describing sweaty. him to the police, how would you describe him? Uh, he was, he was a, a white man, very skinny, bald. Uh, looked like he liked to party. It looked so like he, a meth head. Had a had a roll of copper wire that looked like he had just <laughs> stolen like, from somebody. Like he just rolled it up. <laughs> so high the insulation. You know, we it. have a lot of listeners in Monday, including their PD. So if you're Chris, if we'll you're missing, <laughs> if you're missing some stuff, please holler at me. I'll give you their number. Hope, okay, unless he works for the city, in which case we apologize, bud. But <laughs> just doing his job. He was, was just going to work. Was some he, guy like popped out of the alley with a roll of wire, and I'm like, I don't know. He's taking copper. Is he on? Was he on a huffy? Because that's one thing we have in common in Texas. Every town, the meth heads ride bikes everywhere. Well, now Tony's riding a bike, Jeff, so you need to be careful Tony with your... Tony does not look... Well, he's losing a lot of weight. He is so losing he weight. Yeah. Nobody's questioning he's, how he's, he's doing. Yeah. Weight. He's got to keep pheasant fresh out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, so he's fucking on a tailgate in the middle of nowhere. Well, you sure <laughs> so he's not you, would, all subs. you wouldn't want to fuck on the ground around here. You'd have so many sambers in your ass. No shit. And so, whatever the hell that thing was we saw this morning. I can't take yeah, a piss here without getting a samber in my pecker. So, uh... So y'all saw someone stealing. What do y'all have? Y'all have a meth problem where y'all live, Allegedly. right? Allegedly. Well, it's funny, real quick. Oh, yeah. It's funny you say that about the meth heads that all ride bikes down here. Because when we were, the town before Wichita Falls, Burke Burnett, is that mm-hmm. right? Uh, there was a, looked like a little meth head riding a bicycle away from the cops. Like, they just questioned him. Yeah. Burke so, Burnett was famous for one thing. What's that? A bunch of good-looking girls when they were in high school. Really? Yep. The Boomtown Babes. Huh. That's what you guys called them? That's what that, that was Go a figure. drill team. And that was their drill team. Real gorgeous girls. Did you ever drill the drill team? I used to be part of the drill about team. Stuff like that. There used to be an old saying. <laughs> what the difference is between a Porsche and a Boomtown Babe, not everybody's been in a Porsche. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> God damn. God bless them. I bet I know what they all look like now. They were, yeah, well, they used to, that, you know, honestly, now I'm just kidding about that remark. All good looking girls. They had to weigh in and stuff. Can you imagine that now having a drill team and making your girls weigh in? Oh, you if you're could. three pounds over, your ass sitting on the bench. You ain't dancing tonight. You, you, you get, get in so up. much trouble. Yeah, but what's wrong? Why? Why is that such a bad thing? Well, it's gonna, I mean, they standards don't have, are not bad. You can't even have tryouts and shit anymore now because it's like equal opportunity. Everybody should get a play, right? Or at least everybody should get a ride to the bench. I went to a junior high football game in Wichita thirty years ago, and there's 114 cheerleaders. Because every girl that wanted to be a cheerleader got to be a cheerleader. They had fucking cheerleaders around all sides of the fucking football team. <laughs> 30 yep. years ago, they were doing that shit. Yeah, it's how terrible it's been. All these fucking uh, woke people. It just wears me out. I think we've talked about this before. I mean, how how much uh, hometown pride do you have with Wichita Falls? I love Wichita Falls. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay, but that one part of town, whenever you're on the interstate, whenever you drive past the building that's way too close to the interstate, and, and you... Curving around, curve, going over They the didn't have town. that when I was growing up. They built that as a... You used to have to stop at every light there. Okay, well, but that... Uh, As you're going up over top and the interstate curves back. Oh, the old grain building over there, Atterbury? Yeah, but we're talking about All the... those ha- dilapidated houses. Down in there. The oh, that's a bad neighborhood now. We're going to buy it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. We're the houses... The how, the Gentrification. Big, on, the nor- on the east side of town, those big houses right there, if someone went in and bought like four blocks of shit and redone those houses, there's a lot of nice, beautiful homes that were built in the early 1900s there. Three stories, four story homes, big homes. And that's where all the money was in Wichita at one time. We need to know right really now. Nice place. You in or out? Out, probably. Okay. You don't want to buy yeah. buy that part, part of Wichita, Wichita Falls? No. Rebel and I are making a couple big uh, purchases here soon. We Some actually words. wanted, yeah, we wanted to announce it on here. We're going to buy a Whataburger because <laughs> you said it sucks. It does now compared to what it used to be like. And we're going to buy a huge chunk of Wichita Falls. Okay, good. It's still better than In-N-Out Burger. I disagree. I'm an In-N-Out in guy. Out. I wish I had. I haven't had it. I'm an In-N-Out guy. Nice thin patties. The uh, the 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 bread is nice and fresh. I like it. Way better than it. Uh, way better than Whataburger. Bad they fries. Put, they put the big. It Mac does have bad fries. I will give you that. Bad fries. The fries at In and Out are shit. The In and Out burgers on a scale of one to ten is a seven. Whataburger is about seven point two. There ain't much difference no more. Well, here's a question. Butter so burger say, is better than In and Out burger. I do like Culver's. Well, say with In and Out, you're talking up the burgers, you know, and so they it's widely agreed they have a pretty good burger. Yep. And then everyone agrees they have shit fries. I haven't had it. Why in the fuck is a big company like that? Wouldn't you say, okay, they say our fries suck. Let's fix <laughs> Let's it. Fix That's this. common sense. They're like, no, nah, right. we got the burgers. We'll keep We've it. got the fries. It's a California company. They don't give a shit. Man, why wouldn't you just fix the fries what? and take over the world? The best fries are Chick-fil-A fries. 
I think the waffle, the waffle fries, fries are excellent. The waffle fries with a lot of ketchup. Very, very good. I don't like the ketchup, I like the Chick Fil A sauce, but I think they're good. Ranch. You get the point though. Yeah, very good. Yes, I could but dip those and I could eat. I haven't been ketchup. It wouldn't bother me at all. Waterburger has good ketchup too. Do you not agree on that? What? It's Whataburger's ketchup. ketchup. They have their own ketchup. Well, they also it's have better. spicy ketchup. They have spicy they regular, and they got jalapeno mayonnaise now, I believe. Yeah. But I, I like Whataburger hamburgers just a little tick more than In and Out. Culver's is burgers as good as theirs is. They're good. And then the guys you bring with yesterday are talking about Wendy's. I hadn't thought about Wendy's burger in a long Shibe time. Apparently, is all about Wendy's. I yes. hadn't thought about it. And yeah, and quite I mean, a they're while. good burgers. I didn't know that was like his tops. We play this fun game with Waterburger because we're going to stop in what Oklahoma City is that where we always stop. Uh, usually Wichita Falls. There's one in oh, Burnett okay, right we, there past the, where the Boomtown Babes are. We we're like to actually go to that one. Though. We like to stop in uh, Wichita Falls. Yeah, go see the Babes, and uh, we each get a triple burger. And the fries and everything, and we like to see if we can make to Oklahoma City before that we shit ourselves. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're eating a triple meat with cheese. That's what that's Reb- a lot of hamburger. Do you do the jalapenos on it because that make them good? Reb always buys no. lunch, so that's what we get. Yeah. It's just tradition. <laughs> Whether we're hungry or not, we get the triple cheese. We get the triple. Do, you, you don't do, do the water burger. You don't do the jalapenos on them. No, I didn't oh, even know that was fuck an option. Yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. They're Wouldn't good. We or not definitely tomorrow, whenever I go shit home. before Oklahoma City if we did that. Yeah, but the only problem is there's not a lot of places Oklahoma. to shit yeah. between Wichita <laughs> Falls and Oklahoma City. You got we Lawton, might, which is a great place to shit. We might circle the block and, and then shit you get the water burger. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got two McDonald's on the way to stop at. So what do you eat when you go to McDonald's? Are you a Big Mac guy or I a don't quarter go pounder to McDonald's? If I do, it's for breakfast. What do you get there? The egg McMuffin, uh, McGriddle. Those are good. Sausage I got a friend of mine, Coach Steele, and he used to be an overnourished person, big time overnourished. I love Coach Steele. And me and Coach, that's right. You you met Coach. I forgot about yeah. that. So, anyways, we go to, me and him and Payne are driving to Canada to go fishing one time. And so we stop at McDonald's in Wichita Falls, You're Burke, somewhere along that way. And I ordered an Egg McMuffin, and Payne ordered a McGriddle. And Payne ordered two, and he ate one. And he goes, Coach, you want the rest of this McGriddle? And I, had, I ordered two Egg McMuffins, only ate one, too. And I said, you want the Coach ate a lot of food. He's Slops. like, yeah. He ate the Egg McMuffin. He goes, that's good. I've never had one of them before. How the fuck do you go to McDonald's your whole life? You're 45 years old at this time, and you eat like a horse, and you've never had a fucking McMuffin? It's like it's, never having a Big Mac. Then, then he ate the McGriddle. He's like, oh, holy shit. I've never had these things. They're it's fucking awesome with level. the syrup and the pancake <laughs> on it and stuff. I'm like, how the, what do you eat when you go to McDonald's? Well, I just had a, I just had a sausage egg biscuit. So the McMuffins are what oh. they're known for on their breakfast how menu. Vanilla. That is straight and I alcohol. swear it's the worst thing <laughs> yeah, on their breakfast much. menu. Pretty close. Smell it. That's yeah, rubbing, I, that's I'm rubbing with you alcohol. there. The McGriddle is the best thing they probably have there. Yeah, but I think the egg McMuffin is the worst thing on their breakfast menu. You do? I it's like still it. It's good, but I mean, it's... I can't, you can't eat pancakes because you're driving down the fucking road. Because I think the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits are better than the McMuffins. I always get the McMuffin just because I like what poached eggs anyways. here? Still, Still Austin. Austin. That's supposed to be a five. Cash a drink five? bourbon a five whiskey. is what I was told. A f- well, I wish I hadn't mixed, or I didn't mix it, but there's a, probably a little bit of that clove shit left is in that there. Where's your cork cowboy? Is this a Texas bourbon? Oh. Still Austin. You may have a sip, Andy, of this shit. It's on the goose. Okay. Well, hang on. If you if you guys don't mind, I like to read about them a little bit, Oof. just so I can tell you about it. God dang. It's, it smells like rubbing alcohol. Okay, 118 proof. Uh, oh, son of a bitch. It's horrible. To create this robust bourbon, we asked our master blender, Nancy the Nose Fraley. Oh! <laughs> Fuck yeah. He would hate her. To, to search through our barrels of straight bourbon and select the most complex and full-flavored ones. Those that were begging to be blended and released at barrel proof, meaning the whiskey was bottled the same proof at which it was aged, the resulting spirit is a masterpiece of complex, dark flavors with a deep spice finish. Yeah, that's that the a code very, word for it. it. Tastes like shit. No, it has a, <laughs> it has a very deep uh, spice finish. Yeah, it's as a non like what spice? <clears throat> like your baking spices and your black pepper. Very and your... cinnamon in the. Mm. Getting a lot of that. I don't know that I got him, buddy. Cinnamons, nutmegs. You I don't know? know, I can get down with that. I'm not a nutmeg kind did of. You, guy. How big? How many glass did you make? Poor Jeff. I better I get know. Jesse to ride home with me so she's driving. This is home certainly not a five. Whoever said that has a different scale than me, which is fine. It's totally uh, fine. It's five on like a twenty-five. You can tell scale. it's got some proof because my lips are going numb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just drinking it straight. <laughs> That's oh, I, I dropped a cube in mine because that son of a bitch is thick. This girl is on fire. <laughs> 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 Can you really see yourself honestly? Now, let's be honest about this. There's some whiskeys that you could really sit at your house by yourself, watching a ball game, and take a sip of and think, oh, that's really enjoyable. Yeah. That it cannot be it. That's one. Okay. That other Ooh. shit ain't. That shit right there. It, She's would, spicy. Still Austin. Would you drink that on purpose? Sitting at the house, watching I do college enjoy it, on, yes, on, 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 yeah. on, on a Saturday. Yeah, I would drink this. I like this way, Oof. way more than the Randy well, Rogers. Randy yeah, Rogers shit is real shit. Randy Rogers was bottom of the barrel. 
No, that's that, still Austin. That's good. Go it's, give it's that good. to go give Randy Oof. Rogers to Scotty Goggles. You want to you want to write down a score on it? You have a pen? Yeah, well, I'm we right can there. remember. There's just four of us in here. I know, but then I mean, if somebody gives out a score, then somebody might follow. I feel like Jeff's going to go with a point two. Here, let me see. What would you go with, Jeff? Give him a one. You're gonna give it a one, yeah, and that's me being very. You can nice. do decimals. Okay, See, but this is where this is where things like this are get fucked up because we're comparing it to Randy Rogers. That was dog shit. No, we're comparing no, no. it to an average bourbon. To an average. What is to, an average to like bourbon? Victor's? Maker's Mark. No, yeah. Okay, like Maker's. Maker's is a it, Maker's is a nine on a scale of one to five compared to that shit. Okay. That stuff's horrible to me. I bet I'm not a bourbon drinker, so I'm not a. You have to be in bourbon quite a while, in my opinion, to really get into the cast strengths. I like to start going you through do? the flavors. It's a little spicy yeah, for because me because they're heavy. I mean, they're hot. It is heavy. They'll burn your mouth. They burn your tongue. Yeah. You got to really sift through them, man. Sorry, I'm using I'm, up all your paper. Like, I'm not. Th- oh, we got a whole okay. bunch. We Steve Barber sends yeah. me those pads all the time. Here. Like, an, like I'm, an overweight woman, you just got to take your time. Right down the score. Yeah. I still want to meet Steve Barber. He'll be here uh, next week. You're not going to be here next week, though. No, I'm, I'm he not. He was here last time you were going to be here, though. Ah, I'm sorry. I fucked up. That's okay. Unless you just want me to stick around for another week. I you don't care. Do that. You can stay for three weeks. How are you going to get me home? All your guides would be drunk. We'll, we'll fly you. We'll <laughs> drive you home. Yeah, we'll fly you home. We'll fly you home. Is that true? You'll drive me to Dallas? Yep. I feel like day five, day I, six, be like, all right, Logan, you got to go. Logan, <laughs> Logan ain't doing shit because Stella's at home. The guys, the guides have stopped guiding. You, you might not miss your wife for two or three weeks, but you will miss your daughter. I already do. See, you don't miss your wife, though, yet. See, yeah, of course I do. She's watching. Good answer. I miss her. I called her at noon, told her I missed her. You had to say that. Though. I thought yes. that was just to show it to her. Yeah. Well, I FaceTimed her. Wh- I wiggled it at her. She was in Target. It got awkward. <laughs> she was target. In target. <laughs> it's the third one I've seen you here today. Yeah. <laughs> the other two were dating each other, though. Have you noticed that at Target? If you see two guys together, they're usually like together. Uh, well, why else would they be a Target? Bingo. That's what, exactly right. They pass out tampons when you go in through the door. See, so. there's a lot of gays that go to Target. Lots of gays into Target. It's like four guys at a Dollar General. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, cheers, bud. If you go into if you go into Target though, you don't see two like you two might go into store to buy some fishing equipment or hunting equipment and be two guys going into it. Sure. If you see two guys walking around in fucking Target, they're looking for drapes, carpets, and bathroom mats or some shit. We went into the buckle together, and I tried to make it seem like we were a couple. Is it gay to buy jeans at the buckle? When you and I grew you up, the Rebel? buckle was kind of was the me. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I still wear jeans from the buckle. They're mm-hmm. comfortable. They fit nice. They oh, are, I don't know if I should get a pair of fit. Tyler's or a pair of Justin's. <laughs> Derek's and Tyler's. <laughs> but, but buckle Why jeans did you don't go with suck, him right? to shop for jeans? <laughs> so we're like, So just, I could film it for to content. To see how this happens. <laughs> just, oh, and by the way, you could have told me this Target thing because uh, a couple weeks ago, well, it was just before Christmas, Scheib and I went into Target together. Time out. Before we get off the buckle, you would not, you and the uh, main attendant would not stop flirting, and he was such a dude. He was, he was very gay. But they're he was on a nice you. guy. We were having fun. They're no, on you. You so were fast flirting. That's what he was doing too. I they was were not, flirting. I'm not, full on flirt. I was not flirting. You knew you were teasing this poor guy too. He didn't was you? Too. showing him a little skin. <laughs> he had him worked up like an old motor. <laughs> I, I Does this look okay? Like over here? And then I'd like so, let him see the top of my ass crack. <laughs> oh my gosh! You pull that. You pull that off perfect. You're cute as a button. But, oh, stop, oh, stop, stop it! My pants are getting tight. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Seriously, it's the damnest thing I ever seen. Which all of it's fine, but you were flirting. Oh, stop it! My pants are getting tight. <laughs> Seriously, it's what he did. He exaggerates. You two were flirting, and it, we talked about uh, it after who you was, left. It was exaggerating. Right? Reb's exaggerating uh, this. So, You're saying you guys weren't flirting? Uh, we, I definitely wasn't flirting. He might have been flirting a little bit, but I was just having fun with him. We talked. So, what about would you call one. that? Uh, I don't know. So I'm if a girl does around. teasing him, trying to get a discount. If a girl done that to you, like at a bar when you was at Kansas State. Well, Heidi was doing that to you. What would you say? Like, like, she's teasing you. I like when you, you knew that she wasn't going to go home with you. Why do you keep throwing uh, throwing in Kansas State? Because that's when you went to school and you had a lot of fun, right? You also yeah. went to Sedalia for the Fighting Ruse. Yeah. <laughs> and Northwest. Kansas State. I've been to a lot of colleges. Would you have fun at Kansas <laughs> he's, State? He's a bit yeah, of a scholar, yeah, absolutely. Then what's wrong with it? Well, just because I, I keep waiting for you to bring up. I mean, how, and how long were you at Kansas State? <laughs> I'm not knocking you. I went to school for 10 fucking years and got about a, a year and a half worth of school done. Well, fair I had enough. a lot of fun. So I'm not getting on to you about your education. But so are you asking if I would flirt with a girl if I was at Kansas State? No, 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 no. He if would. a woman was flirting with you and you knew you had no reason, she wasn't taking you wasn't taking her home, she's just jacking with you, you'd be like, she's teasing me. Oh, yeah. You were teasing, you are doing the same thing this he guy He was did. teasing them. Well, it's kind of like uh, if you go out to a restaurant and it's like, say, your waitress is like a 70-year-old woman and you know you fuck around and flirt with them, you know, just to kind of be funny and shit, there was no different than that. Next thing you know, you're in the bathroom fucking a 70-year-old woman. <laughs> she's <laughs> popping her teeth out. So oh, wait, we go. Where was this buckle at? 
St. Joe, Missouri. So St. Joe, Missouri, if you know a gay guy there and he got teased with a guy with a beard, it's Logan Pye. I thought he did. Listen, don't did go- you get a discount at all? Uh, I, no, I he actually, think so. I think it had <laughs> no, reverse No, I got effect. the worst hand he job bought, of my life. Yeah. He bought more than he was going to because the other guy played it up and you know he they get did. commissioned. That's, That's right. This it worked, yeah. man. It worked. This isn't true. So you went in to tease the guy and then he and reversed it on you and, and you bought like two extra all pair of jeans. All you had were five pair of jeans and blue balls. Listen, quit talking bad about him. He's a nice guy. He's sure he was. He's cute as a button. No, he was a nice guy. I just said you guys were flirting. And he probably ain't even gay. He probably I just does that at work to act that way so straight guys mm-hmm. like you'll come in and buy a lot of shit off of him. I don't think no. this yeah. is the weirdest conversation. No, I don't he, think he that's was, true. Pretty I gay, think right? I wore Tyler also. Yeah. That's why I've got a couple pairs at home. They're nice. Doodlies? They're, huh? Doodlies? Oh, nice doodlies. What is this? That's doodlies. Doodlies, man. That's the gay, the handshake now? That's what they oh, do. So, I mean, you, you, you two go into f- Target. But yes, you looked gay in Target the other day, you and Shive. Yeah, probably. You did. We were buying shit for his kids. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. That's good. That's, we're buying stuff for our adopted son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, you write, supportive did you write down a score? No, I don't have a... a Here's a pen. Well, you can go ahead and say yours first. Mine? Yeah. What would you give it? Oh, he's under pressure. You see that? Big breath. Pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on you. What's the scale? One, uh, one to, to five. Ten? Oh, five? One Zero, to five fingers. Zero to five. How many fingers you're putting in here, we call it? Finger scale. Two and a half. I will put in 3.2. Huh. Fine score. Solid. I went with a 3.8. I do enjoy this a lot. I went with a 3.4. Hey, we're all so in there. So I like it a little bit less than all of you do. Yeah. But that's nothing but wrong we're all with in that. there. So what's this good are. stuff you brought here? Huh? What's what? this other that one? That was here when I got that here. Was, oh. That was all here. At least what? let me enjoy this one before we start another one. No, yeah, you're good. Enjoy this. I'm going to have another splash of this. As I, long just as you don't needed, mind. I just Drop needed. I just needed. Drop a cube in it, dude. I just needed I brought to get, eight bottles of bourbon. We got to get through them all. <laughs> I just need to get Randy Rogers out of my cup because that was. What well, did did yeah, you get another you, cup? I thought you yeah. did shooters. With us. <clears throat> We're good. I just that's why I moved on to that one oh, so quickly. Gotcha, gotcha. So Can I drink I more? Is this ours? Take it. You're good. Okay. Have all you want. Thanks. Yeah, I think Josh Glor sent that to you. <clears throat> Thank you, Josh Glor. I think he did. Asshole. No idea. I don't mean that. We don't remember at all. I'm just gonna drop a drop a cube in it, dude. I'm Could you, you imagine what the old whiskey must have taken taste like on the trails back in the Western days, the cowboy days? A lot of fermented corn, I bet. Mm. I saw that something. rotten taste, you know, like some bad shine. They put um, what Peyton and us ta- or not Peyton us uh, Wyman and us talked about this. What all did they put in it? They put uh, I can't remember, but I did tobacco turpentine. I remember seeing no, uh, that. Everybody drank liquor back in the day or alcohol because water was couldn't drink the water. You couldn't drink the yeah, water. That's right. So even right. like young kids were getting boozed up at an early age. Absolutely. Everybody walked around with a buzz. That's why the life expectancy expectancy was like twenty three years old. It is true. The yeah. water. Stay away from the water. And probably wasn't just water. because you know they the were wine. they were getting drunk all the time. It's probably because they doing dumb shit after well, you yeah, do falling drunk. off a fucking cliff <laughs> yeah. or God knows what, getting trampled by a horse. Then I can out shoot you, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> put, put that can what? on your head. Whatever. Meet me on One the street, deals. pussy. They um, but they made that. There was tobacco in it, and I can't remember what else was in it. But it was a nasty big creek water, fermented whatever the hell it I was. I think you mean Turkey tobacco. Creek Johnson. Probably was. Do you know who Turkey Creek Johnson is? No. I don't either. It's on Tombstone. I was never a big Tombstone guy. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that was a great movie. I've yeah. seen it. Probably my favorite Western. What's your uh, favorite movie of all time? Uh, big Lebowski, 100%. Mine? Oh, Casino. That's Casino? Good, I like Casino more I love than Casino. Big Lebowski. Fuck yeah, I love Shh. Casino. It's an opinion uh, piece, guys. Hey, you know what I really yes. like about this whiskey? So, first of all, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Andy for taking us out crane hunting this morning. That's right. Wrecked yeah. the shit out of him. That's right. We but did. I had to sit on a bucket, and I got a bad back. But this is making my back feel better. I brought my own chair. See? You, Jeff, does your back ever hurt? <laughs> no, I have a hot tub and a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Wellness check. We're here to check on you, buddy. I'm doing good today. Thank you. So, but if we want to play this game, we can do that. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well, Rhett. if anybody had a problem with it, it should be Andy because it involves his mother. I don't have a problem a, with it at all. It's a fantastic story, and your wife is very your proud wife of tells it. it. She was in- incredibly proud of it. It turns out Jeff isn't quite as young and nimble as he thought he once was. Well, I think it's just because Michelle uh, really rocked his world. I don't think it got to that part yet. You, <laughs> you really jarred something loose there, Tiger. I think Tiger. our prize fighter got injured walking to the ring. 
<laughs> he's coming out Apollo Creed music, you know, and it's Tears going on. Tears of the ACL, bouncing around. Yeah, bouncing and spinning, and then boom, back pop, and <laughs> she's just sitting there ready, and we had to tee it up. Oh, I'll finish myself off. <laughs> uh, we got a timeout going here. <laughs> but are you, I mean, are you better now? I mean, was it like a crawl in the house type of deal? Because I have back problems, too. I understand. So I, I wanted to check on you. You know, normally I would say I would never disrespect Michelle like this, but she done this on herself because she thought this was real funny. Uh-huh. Say she told the story. Oh, I know. That's <laughs> it was like the first thing she said whenever I got here. Oh, yeah. she, she, she I hurt Jeff. going on with your family? <laughs> I hurt Jeff. I'm like, I'm, you, I ain't getting too close with these people. Can you imagine My name Jeff. <laughs> how he got greeted by everybody here? Tony is rub, he's fingering his belly yeah, button yeah. talking about all the weight he's lost. Uh-huh. Lose weight, look good. Well, huh? and fucking then, amongst the pheasants. And then mom is like, hey, I hurt Jeff in the hot tub. Oh, like, well, that's that's how that was how he got greeted. First of all, to clear this story, I was not hurt in the pot, hot tub. I was hurt before I got in the that's hot tub. That's what I said. Price I was got not away e- the ring. I was not <laughs> expecting company in the hot tub. Right. Well, I understand. I was about to sleep in that summer. It was just funny the way that she told it. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's act- it's also beautiful that at your age that you guys still and Love is engaged in, in coitus. And that it was spontaneous. There was like no blue pill or anything like no. that leading up to Never it. Never like taken it one was, of those. Tony and you are it machines, was, man. It was quick. They well, say if, you, if, if you knew their dad, like you would understand. They, they say if you're, you're real quiet on a still Texas evening, you can hear the Stanfields trying to make love. <laughs> 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 one you hear pheasants in the background, the other you hear, you hear God damn! <laughs> But no, I'm proud of you, bud. Still getting hard boners and stuff. Hey, cheers. <laughs> He's not 80, Logan. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, shit. Have you ever taken a Viagra? Oh, yeah. You oh, do? Jesus. Fuck he yeah. started when he was like 18. That's not true. Why? Uh, it's it's one of my favorite. Kansas State type? Same thing no, I have, not Jeff. K-State. Um, it's one of my favorite recreational drugs. <laughs> I had, <laughs> Dude, it's just... Let's what do you like, do with it? It's kind of like, you know, cruising mm-hmm. around is fun, but it's more fun if you're drinking. Right. So having sex is fun, but it's more fun if you take a Viagra. <laughs> I don't know that I can wrap my head around this. You can only get so hard. I didn't. It didn't make sense to me either when I asked him, like, why I do don't, you do I that? don't. And how old are you? Uh, 33. Your wife's good looking. Yeah. No, he was doing I don't understand. Oh, no. I've, I mean, I've got a boner right now. That's not yeah, an issue. No, no. At all, okay. Nice I don't. I don't actually. But I mean, yeah, I can get a little hard. Bit. To get hard for my wife Shut every up. time, unless it, you know, it's one of those real drunk nights. Yeah, there's one night you told me about that. Do you remember that? Since we talked about me earlier, we're going to talk about you now. About the time I, I came super fast. No, <laughs> about the time you could not get hard. <laughs> oh well, yeah, it's happened before. Yeah, well, ten years of being together. I mean, I was. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not oh, helping yourself at all. Don't Larry. do that. No, I'm saying <laughs> in the, in the ten that. years of getting together, I'm gonna or being together, I'm gonna fuck up eventually. <laughs> I mean, you sit there and watch the same show. For 10 <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how I met at all. You start to so, meet the TV. What, I mean, you already what do you, know the word. You want her to dye her hair or something? No, I mean, what, what do you no, want her no, to do no, no, no. That's a wig. That's, that's a wig. That's not how I was. You want her to use like. Talk like uh, she's from German or something. I'm, maybe what, throwing some French. Red I'm, nail polish again. Hal. <laughs> what I'm saying is, we've had sex thousands of times, so eventually Ragger. I'm gonna fuck up. Change the fucking record. <laughs> no, no. So everything she does is perfect. So after ten she, years, you need gorgeous. a change of pace or look different. No, absolutely. She's not. a beautiful lady. I'm doing understand. I'm confused why you would say that. Gorgeous. Shut the fuck yeah. up. You're not gonna back me into a corner. <laughs> but uh, what happened was with the Viagra deal. I had a buddy who had some, and he didn't need them either. But he. He sure, he didn't. Well, he says he doesn't. I don't know. I've never seen his boner. I'm sure, it's a great one. Uh, but we were all out and partying, and he had some. He's like, "Have you ever taken one?" I was like, "No." He's like, "Dude, it's awesome. You got to try it. You're, you're going to get a boner. You're going to get a boner. You're going <laughs> to get a boner." Fu- fucking shit. Well, it's, right now? it's cool because it it kind of like desensitizes it. Everything still feels really good. Uh-huh. But uh, I mean, you can go longer time and, out, and time you're harder. Out, real quick, you were probably on alcohol. Is why you were popping vaggies, right? Is there any chance the alcohol desensitized it a bit? There is a 0% chance that I was out and about and not drinking alcohol. Right. That's That's probably what desensitized it, right? Viagra doesn't make you last longer, does it? I don't know, man. You you fuck a bunch. And then the good thing is after you you get off, you're... I mean, your refractory period it's is still hard. Yeah, you're, it basically never goes down. She's like, "Did that you come?" Like, I don't know. No, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. It's it's, it's good for for drunken nights when they're really in the mood and Sundays. But Sundays. now some guys are Sundays yeah, because you watch the Raiders and there's no sense watching wasting your time well, doing can that. Can we just go have sex? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> some college terrible. kids have been kind of wrecking themselves, haven't they? They say yeah, if you can overabuse those, and then you can actually have trouble getting a right. natural erection. And I know you're. 
I'm not talking about you, but I mean that's a problem in colleges. Yeah, and he had a buddy yeah. his popped one in junior high or freshman year. He really did. wearing wind pants. He at wore school. wind pants that day to school. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> How'd yeah. that go? About like you think it would go? Did he do the the Texas belt buckle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, put you the gotta, book like, in front it, of it. Took it underneath and like he walked down the hallway with books in front of him. Why didn't so, he like, just tuck it up in his pants? He did, but you know you're worried at that age in junior high. And if you walk long enough and you get enough friction, you're going to come on yourself. And he was not a like white the, fellow, so it was uh, definitely everybody could see it. Like, oh, it like, like your favorite video, you know, it's just a lot of friction there. Exactly, you but will come eventually. You you will. It's just a matter of or time. Or you get a blister, rug burn. <laughs> Those are the two options. Come or get a blister. Yeah, man. Have you never had sex? Pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> For Viagra, those are your two options? That's A or B. I do have a genuine You want the concern, red pill or the blue though. pill? So, I don't want either. So how often do you take these things now? Every oh, time. I haven't taken one in uh, it's been two weeks. Hours. No, no, no. <laughs> hours. It's been a couple of years. But there is a website called Steel Supplements. If you ever want to get like a, a watered <laughs> down. Plug. If you ever want to get a watered down version of it, it's called Hard as Fuck. And there are these little gold pills. You take a couple of those. It's not as cool as Viagra, but they're fun. They're fun. Yeah. Well, now I think you can get Viagra online without a prescription, basically, can't you? Or they instantly prescribe I've, it. I'm telling you right now, I'm 54 years old, and I've never, ever taken one. I haven't either. One. A buddy of mine, I'm not going to say his what name. What was it called? Uh, well, the, he's talking about Hard website, AF. Steel Supplements is the name of the website. I'm there. Yeah, what's there it is right there. Right Hard there. AF. Hard AF. Yeah. yeah. Erection formula. Uh, stands for oh. as as fudge. Yeah. There it is. That's there. a bargain. Yeah. Are you going to get you a bottle? No, I'm not. But that's a good, really, really good price. Tr- just going to minimize Treat this. Treat your lady. Not close I, I, I'm this. Gonna, I'm going to I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> one time. And bookmarked. One time a friend of mine who, who I will not mention his name. Do I know him? <clears throat> yes. And so, anyways, we were coming back from the Casino one night, and we stopped at Waterburg to get some these. Me, him, and, and Fred Ledesma, because I can say Fred because it wasn't him, are there. And he goes, Woof, and he pulls out a baggie, and he's got some pills in him. I go, what the hell is that? I think it was Cialis. Is that the same stuff? Yeah. Cialis, yeah. He had Cialis, and he took two of them. And he's like, I'm going to The call difference him. is, Cialis is you take it, like, once a day, and you can just get hard whenever you want. Viagra, you take... 45 minutes to an hour before you he want took a boner. The, then he took Viagra right. then. You just get hard whenever yeah, you want. That'd nope. be like the greatest yeah. superpower <laughs> ever. <laughs> Bam. No, his, what do his, you do? It's, I believe <laughs> it's, Cialis is so you're always ready okay. when you want then, it. Then, he didn't. He took the Viagra then. Cialis is always <clears throat> ready. And he took two of them. Oh. He's yeah. a, he Extra double boner. popped them. So anyways. If then one boner is good. What are you doing? He goes, I'm going to have you drop me off at this girl's house. I said, okay. And he got called. He goes, Shit, she's not answering. I was like, you shouldn't have taken the bag. I said, Fred, I guess I know what you're doing on the way home, but I'm driving. Again and again and again. Not again. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> That's what it did. So he just had to go home and just jack off for a That's couple, where the blisters hours. come in. Yeah. Bingo. I'm telling you guys, between the abuse of boner pills amongst our young people and the hardcore, nasty, triple anal shit they have instant access to that they're watching all the time. Yeah. It's not going to be too long before they just can't get boners and society collapses. Um, kids are not having sex now. If you look at the statistics. That's what I mean. They, they, don't, even, they don't even bother. Why? I no, that's they, my question. I'm 54, they and I'm thinking all... I'm 84. I'm still going to want to have sex. No shit. Because, but they're growing up in a different time. Because it's way easier just to get on the internet, and you are you can see more naked women than the most powerful king 500 years ago ever saw in his entire life. It's right there at your disposal. You just jerk off. And basically what it's doing, and I've heard uh, some a lot smarter people than us talk about this, but it's it's short, it's short, a shortcut, and it's fucking up their brain chemistry. Like TikTok. Right, right. Because like sex is a reward system. You used to have to work for it. Ejaculation. Now it's just, it's everywhere. You can... I could pull it up right now, and we could watch it together if we wanted to. We probably to. should That's for okay. research purposes. <laughs> you, you know what? You know what's sad about this is, and I'm older than all you guys, so it's, it's a different deal, but the fun part was the working for it when I grew up. Right. That was the... that was Try telling that to a prostitute. Kind of like the fun, <laughs> yeah. kind like the fun part of Christmas is waiting. And yeah, then once it, you open the presents, right. it's like, yeah. oh, well, well I never over. said, no, no, never said it wasn't no good. It's a little different, but the, it was the risk-reward deal, you know? You kiss her and then you go touch her boob and if she don't slap you then you can grab under the. I mean there was a there then, was a, then your hand down her pants. Oh yeah, then, it's a whole system and go there. Like, oh shit! And then it's like oh shit, she's gonna let me. And then your hand. Then if you get done, she, well, she's done that with everybody else anyway. So what a matter. Yeah, but 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 you but you know what I'm saying? That was part of it is and that was a risk reward type deal. These kids today they they've got it all Tinder, Grinder, whatever the hell they're on. In 2021, a survey found that over 20 percent of males under 35 reported not having sex. 
and 19% of females of the same age group. In 2008, those numbers were 8 and 7%. Holy shit. That's a big leap. Fuckers need hot tubs. Well, right. have you seen that study? It's been making its rounds around the internet now. Uh, an old study the scientists did. I can't remember if it was like the <laughs> universe of 25, the mouse one, where he took the mice and built the perfect yes. ecosystem for them. Yes, him. I saw that. And I think that's exactly what the society's doing right now. Right. Because it's really fascinating if you ever wanted to look it up. I because basically they said the the powerful mice like built they went up several layers and they got above the lower mice, right? Well, yeah. Well, so they, they started like with just in... one pair of mice, I think. Uh huh. Or I mean, a, a very or maybe it's twenty five. Anyway, they kept building their numbers, and then they they had all the food they wanted, the water. And then they started forming factions, and there were right. stronger ones and weaker ones. And then they became these beautiful males. Those are the males that just kept themselves looking good, didn't uh, didn't display any hostileness, didn't even try and mate. They just hunkered in the corner because, you know, they were almost acting feminine in a way. Mm -hmm. And then there's the women doing the same thing, the female mice. And then there was the alphas, and they were eating everybody. Even though they had plenty of food, they turned to cannibalism, and then pretty soon... Everyone stopped breeding, and it went to zero. And he repeated this study multiple times. Like, I can't remember if it was a dozen or what. And every time, they got up to, like, 600 mice and right. then plummeted to zero to where there was no mice left. This says here at so the peak... that's where we're at. at. The, the at whole thing needs to read. It's hard to paraphrase, but it's super fascinating. At the peak population, most mice spent every living second in the company of hundreds of other mice. They gathered in the main square, waiting to be fed and occasionally attacking each other. Few females carry pregnancies to terms... And the ones that did seem to simply forget about their babies, they'd move half of their litter away from danger and forget the rest. Sometimes they'd drop and abandon a baby while they were carrying it. The, flu the few secluded spaces housed a population Calhoun called the beautiful ones, generally guarded by one male, the females, and a few males inside the space didn't breed or fight or do anything but eat and groom and sleep. When the population started declining, the beautiful ones were spared from violence and death, but had completely lost touch with social behaviors, including having sex and caring for their young. We're headed that way. That's, That's where we're going. 1962, they did this. But he did this study several times <laughs> with new sets of mice, and every time the numbers got to the same and plummeted to zero, all within around the same time frame, which is pretty wild. I think if you took... <clears throat> Uh, social media. So there it is. That that was like the. So basically, that's like town square. Yeah. Right there, and then Holy the shit. the well to do mice would get higher and higher and higher, and basically it was kind of like the um. What's the upper echelon? The there? the skyscrapers of New York City, and then like every all the other downtrodden ones are down there while Slums they're up in their York. penthouse. Yeah. And then it society crumbled. That is fucking mind blowing. It is that it? he just did it with mice and it kept repeating yep. itself. That's nuts. So yeah. basically, all these TikTok stars or the those mice are moving up. The beautiful ones the beautiful that are grooming right. themselves and doing all this shit, not making, having sex, and making not hundreds of thousands sex. of dollars a month, and not when, having sex. When Andy said that people were stopping having sex, it immediately made me think of that mice study. Those, but if you take social media out of our society right now, a lot of this shit wouldn't be here. Uh, yeah, that's no, the I downfall. Agree. That that's what sped all this process up. And it's hard to believe now they're talking about AI, all this AI stuff, and it ain't going to be long, and some fucker we know is going to have an AI wife. Y'all are going to laugh at me for saying that shit, but it's coming down the road. You're going to not have a wife. You're going to have a robot that lives in your house that's your companion. You're going to watch sports with it. That's how fucked up people are. I'm listening. Yeah, and you're gonna, but are they going to fuck it? Are they still just going to jack Probably, off? I don't. I don't have to fuck it. There I really don't understand the no sex thing. That's uh, what floors me. And growing it, growing it's up, it's I great. mean, that's all you could think about. That's all you wanted to do. We're still considered old school. We right. will fuck till we die. Still right. really want to do that. Yeah, but it's the new crop that I'm worried that they're, they're just crazy to think uh, about that. But I mean, like I can remember back in my high school, and I was, you know. You can say you quarterback, were, yeah. and you know, <laughs> all, all I wanted to do was lift weights and chase. Girls, like that was it. You just wanted to zoomy zoom zoom in a boom zoom, boom. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, man, is that like that at Kansas State too? <laughs> what the fuck is your deal with Kansas State? Oh, you fucked with me about my wife, so we're gonna be on this the whole time now. <laughs> uh, Kansas but, State. No, I'm just when you were 19. Can, can you 20, pull that back up? When you were 18 to 20 the years old, thing? though. Huh? Yeah, the mice thing is that gonna be a pain in the ass? There's not much <laughs> difference in my generation and y'all's, but there's a huge difference between y'all's generation and the generation of 18 and 20 year olds. Okay, at, Can Absolutely. at Kansas Monster. State, see there by his left foot? Yes. 
That's me that's a, <laughs> <laughs> down there. Okay, I find that hard. Just to in the just, I promise. just just grow me just beautiful grow I'm just yeah. down there. I'm jacking off. I mean, I <laughs> wallering in the filth. I was not doing well. I can assure but, you. But but what I'm saying is, y'all's generation is not different than mine. Much difference at the I, age deals. I would say no. But the I'm, kids today, they're 20 years. Young. How old are you? 33. 33. You're 20 years younger than me. Yeah. The generation is not that much difference. No, but because you go to th- you. 33 to 18 year olds, 15, completely different now. Right. And it's, uh, that's actually really wild because, I mean, I think there's a difference even between my age and yours as far as maturity. How old are you? 42. <laughs> so you're between almost 43. You're, you're, you're halfway in between us. Are yeah. you, so are you saying I'm you're a lot there. more mature than me? Absolutely. Every time you call me, you call, you're, I'll be like, Hello? Oh, hey, Logie Licky Butt. What are you doing? <laughs> fucking at, sucking off some dude? It's shit like that. So where does the maturity factor come in on this deal? That's a good question. That is every phone call we've ever had ever. <laughs> Summed up in five seconds. Or Reb and I will just be sitting there like in the blind today and look at each other and go, <laughs> uh, you did that. You started. That. I, okay, I, there is a big difference between my 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 generations and you y'all. You started. I'll that. give you that. Well, today in the blind, I go Reb, and he turns. I just play my audience, turns and yeah. looks at me, and I go, and he goes. <laughs> so, is there that much of a difference in maturity? Not, not in y'all's, mine and yours, yes. <laughs> so, if I would have done this to you, what would you have done? I thought, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you wouldn't world? do anything back. I don't Nothing. Have a Throw clue. a little scrap. What about like a? What about when I <laughs> laughed? What about when Blake deep throated that call? What would you have done? I laughed and thought, "What a dumbass!" Yeah, so well, see, that's Same what I'd have thought. What a but how's Blake? 27, 28? Yeah. yeah, and he's a horny boy. No, he's older than that, ain't he? No, he's not thirty. Oh, Blake's a rotten buck. How old's that? He is. Zach's, Zach's 30. twenty. Zach's thirty. And him and Blake are about the same age. So he's twenty-seven. What time would you say? What age would you say people kind of age out of the guide life? Unless you're obviously connected, uh, in it, but you're traveling guides. Right around 30. where they are. 30? About 30. That's at the top end. When they start getting married and the wives yeah. say, Once right. they grow up. Yeah. And That's, I don't mean that in a bad way because there's a lot of them. Right. When I say grow up, I don't mean get married. I mean just where they decide that they've got to have a solid base in their life. They need a job. They need benefits. They need insurance. They need to do. And there's, possibly a wife mm, and kid come with that yes, also. Yes. But, but now that kids aren't mm, having sex, like we might have them until they're yeah, 50 now. Yeah. Like, who knows? B- B- Blake. We're going to get one more year out of Blake. He's telling me more than that. Let's say two. When, as soon as Emily gets knocked up, they won't be. he won't be coming down. No, no she's not going to stand for that, no, obviously. But she, he's getting married in August, so he'll get a hunt next year. That's the next a bummer, year, the, he's the, been a fucking great one for he's you He's going guys. on a been, week mm-hmm. bachelor party. What the fuck do you do for a week in at a Deadwood, bachelor party? In Deadwood, uh, South Dakota. I yeah. didn't get invited, so I don't know. I, I didn't, didn't either. either. Yeah, see, I'm going. He told me, he asked me, you're not going? I said, fuck, you didn't invite me. Well, yeah, I did. I said, no, I'm not. I, I have no interest in going to a bachelor party anyways, none. You know what hurt my feelings about that is he was telling us, he's like, yeah, I rented a 15 fucking bedroom yeah. house, and I'm, I'm sitting there like, yeah. 15 friends? Yeah. Well, even if they double room, 30 <laughs> friends? <laughs> and we're not top 30? I was like, what the fuck, man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He knows your track record, Logan. About not showing up? Uh, yes. The boner pills. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, that too. about the boner pills. I brought party favors. <laughs> and and it's like flirting on the hangover. And you're flirting at chess with the guy. What are you going to do with those? <laughs> I thought it was ecstasy. Depends on what it is. I am tough to get in the fall and the spring. And now, especially now that I've had a kid, I'm not going to go You ain't anywhere. going to a bachelor. Can you go home right now and tell your wife, I'm going to go to a bachelor party for five days in South Dakota. You know what she'd say? No. Do you, have, you go right ahead and have fun. You have the dongle? Can you hook me up? I'll just call her on air. I could, yeah. No, we better not do that. No, I would that. love to do that. I think, I think it would be great. I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> wow, I think it'd be Wasn't great. Wasn't it your idea? Yeah, it was your idea. Try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> no. I'll I, bet you 20 bucks she says either uh, whatever well, she you knows think. she's on the phone. Yeah, she'll, yeah that's fine. Yeah, no, sure. she'll say if she'll you think that's the right idea. Call them in an hour. If you think that's a <laughs> yeah. good idea. That's Michelle's no. The yes, that's fine. Yeah. Michelle, do you think it'd be okay if I start taking a, a pilot's license? If that's what you'd like to do. That means no. Hmm. If she says, if she really don't care, she'll say yes. She never says no, though. If you have to ask for permission woman. to go get no. a pilot's license? No, I'm just using that as an example. No, <laughs> I, was, I actually, I was say, actually if like... I want to do that, I'm going to do that. And I'm thinking about doing it. But no, what? she. I'm thinking about getting me a pilot's license. You're fucking bored. I am. <laughs> this is the midlife crisis. <laughs> this is. But I'm thinking about it. He's going to roll, Harley... roll up on his own huffy, <laughs> finger in his own belly button. Talking about how with he's... with goggles on, airplane goggles on. <laughs> I've looked into it. I'm seriously, that's something I'd like to do this well, year. You have a little airport here. Does somebody? I'd, I would love to do that. Does somebody? Uh, somebody uh, 
I've yeah. got there's a there's a place out of here I can get that. You do license. know Logan has several hours towards his license, right? No, I think it'd be cool. I do. He's I even had a solo flight. I I, yeah. I soloed when well, I was 17 years old. Oh, what was, was that like? Went to Kansas State and forgot how to fucking fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it like soloing? Yeah. Terrifying. I, I hated can, it. i had been nervous <laughs> as fuck too. First, I, I had uh, 12 hours under my belt, and my instructor was like, "Okay, you're on your own," and he shuts the door. I'm like, are you being serious? And he goes, yep. And he was like, I got the radio. He goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you need anything, holler. So I, I <laughs> come go. fly this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I'm really fucking scared up here. I'm uh, in trouble. No, I, I went up and I did three touch and goes is where, you know, you uh-huh. can go down, boom, and did that, landed safely. Everything worked out fine. And you never wanted to do it anymore. Uh, was I was around the last Actually, time. What it? happened was I, I got another, oh, I think I have like right around 25 hours, maybe 30 hours. I think 25. What do you need, 40 or? Yeah, you need 40 until you have your pilot's license. So, so I can get it in a week. Yeah, you probably could. But my instructor, he ended up moving down to his uh, lake house in the Ozarks, and I didn't really want to go through anybody else, so I just let it go. Which Anyways, I, I, wish, I wish I would have. He didn't did. invite you to move with him? Nope. I, I am know. looking, I am have looked into this, and I'm thinking about doing it this summer. And I think I could, I, I, honestly, I think I can knock it out in two months pretty easy. Probably. The problem How? with getting your pilot's license is all the costs that come with it. Because then at some point you're going to be like, like I, a plane. I need, I need a, plane. a plane. You could actually buy a plane, a pretty nice plane for fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. Right. And then what? the upkeep and the maintenance, well, which is the same as upkeep. But the, uh, I don't Fuel. know, just keeping it, well, that and just storage and keeping in good working order. Yep. Your the annual. walkthroughs. Yeah, your annual inspections. I mean, I've heard it well, really, really, really. Well, well, look, at it's not cheap. If you did, you'd see them in fucking Democratic side of town all so the time. So where would you fly into? Like, no, but isn't that kind of like buying a treadmill where you're like, all right, I'm going to do it. That's, and then, a, hey, that's a, clo- a clothes hanger. That's all you do is hang your clothes you're on like, it. You're just exactly. Zip. Wouldn't that be what a plane would be eventually unless you really had to drive for just it? Just zip to the casino real quick? Or like, where, you, where are we flying to here, Jeff? I figured we fly to New Mexico, take the whole family. Oh. I don't know. I just think it would be something I'd like and to we do. we can all die at once. Yeah, yeah well, I don't great. want to kill your dream. I just wanted to make sure you thought about it. No, no, I've just... looked into I don't plan on buying a plane. I just think we need to rent a plane and go fly sometimes. I'm just telling you, that's it. the natural progression of all the pilots I know. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I'm not buying a plane. I got my license. I'm buying I'm a just plane. Just totally <laughs> just going to there for the experience and yeah. saying I got it. Honest, I'm buying a plane. Honest to God, I really truly... months later, that's a good deal on yeah, a plane. I got a plane. I think you should do it. And not just because, you know, you have a destination, just to get up for an hour or two and... And you know, fly around wherever you want, and then take in all the views and everything. You'd love it. See, that's what I was saying. When me and Michelle were in Maine, you could those places rent planes all over the place. You can rent sure. a plane, you rent a plane in Maine, fly around for an hour or two along the coast, see a lot of things you wouldn't see. That's what I'd like to do. I don't know that I'll ever want to have or commit a Ford my own plane, but I can afford to lease a plane and fly it around for a day or two when we're somewhere. Do you have to be certified in each individual aircraft, or is there just blanket like single propeller? I think double you got to get checked on certain that planes. Single propeller, double propeller, yeah. turboprop, uh, yeah. jet engine, yeah. which I doubt you're going to you do that. But and, well, and then there's also fixed uh, landing gear, retractable, tail gear. IFR. A tail VFR. dragger, yeah, tail dragger. I'm just talking. Well, you'll have to do that regardless. Your IFR and VFR, DF, DVDA. Uh, yeah. And then there's a, uh, there's there's a couple other ones. You know what would be fun as hell if you had a lot of money? And I don't have a lot. Of money, I was trying to think of an acronym that, that, that wasn't going to be offensive. <laughs> that, that, that besides that, to own like an old Corsair or a P51, one of them old World War II planes, that would be a badass to buzz around on one of them things. That's a million cool dollars. Oh yeah. d- no, I won't ever afford that. But just a, that would be cool as shit. We're starting to dream awful big over here. Jeff. Yes, I'm going. <laughs> If else thinks in private jet, I'm thinking, oh, damn, that P-51 Mustang buzzing around. <laughs> fucking A, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm own, have your own A-10 Warthog. I want the fucking guns to still work. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Did you watch the Netflix special about Pepsi Give Me That Jet? Yes, I did. I did watch the Netflix I didn't watch the special, but I know about it. I, wa- I watched it. Disappointing at the end. I thought so, well, too. I, just, I, I didn't finish it. Well, I didn't either, because someone I was talking to on the phone, I thought it was you told me don't watch the end, because then he don't get the jet. No, like, well, of course fuck. he didn't get no, the jet. Me. No. You thought he was going to get the jet? I didn't know. Yeah, spoiler alert, not only did he not get the jet, he didn't get a fucking thing. No, he got fucked on the Turned down a million dollars. They offered to buy him out for a million dollars previously. Like, no, and then they took it to court, and they got some real railroading corporate judge. Mm-hmm. And I felt watching the documentary, it should have went in his favor, the kids. Right. And, and it was, he was smarted no, Pepsi. There was no disclaimer. No. no. If you Zero. Haven't, if you haven't seen this, basically... Pepsi and Coke were in the Coke Wars, right? And they were going to give away a... <clears throat> and, a and a commercial come up. A million Pepsi points wins you a hair eight, your jet. Eight million points, wasn't it? Uh, <clears throat> whatever. 17 million or something. Whatever it was. Yeah. It cost him $700,000 for a Harrier jet that was worth $10 million. I he think. thought. Right. 
But there was no disclaimer at the bottom, nothing in, no little bullet that said, hey, this is just fucking jokey moron. We're just goofing. But um, In subsequent commercials, there were, so they knew they fucked because up. Because somebody sued Red Bull because it did not give them wings. And right. somebody, hold on. Jesus Christ. Somebody <laughs> is suing in New York. Somebody is suing the Liver King. Because he said twenty five million dollars. He said he was all natural and he got that physique just by eating liver. And there's. Do you remember him. when you told me that too? I told you he was on steroids, Jeff. No, no, you did not. You go back and listen to our deal, and I you did. said Jeff you is said, just from eating liver. I said there's no fucking way that he ain't on some kind of fucking steroids. Jeff, I said he was on steroids because I was telling you he's say he's telling everybody he's natural, and you're like, whoa, you're saying this, he might come in that door and whip your ass. Call it saying he's on steroids. That's exactly what I said. Uh, you might have said that. It might be right. I got to piss real bad. Sorry. <sighs> Seriously? God. In the middle of a podcast? Watch the camera. Um, watch the sign. Watch Jesus. the other camera. Watch the lights. See, in our setup, uh, we can just say things like, pause. And pause. Then, and then no, he can here. go take, he takes three shits a show. I mean, <laughs> Does he? Three <laughs> shits. <laughs> Seriously. That's a fucking mess. All the piss. How did he get off that Viagra? It's phone it's, calls. It's, I mean, we work around everything, and then our, our editor, you know, cuts it all out, and so it flows. Your poor editor. Oh, I, yeah. I, we uh, take very few. Andy never hardly has car. I have to because I had a farmer just call me and go, I've got other things i got to handle, and they don't know at 3 o'clock y'all are drinking bourbon, and I'm podcasting with y'all. Was it a good call? Oh, yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Birds on but, the field? But I knew about it already, yes. Oh. Our birds? It's, no. It's where oh, Blake's no. in the morning. No. Are you even scouting for us today, Andy? Yes. I am. I am. Are you? I've got a good idea. Oh, 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 oh I like it. <laughs> Are we What's your favorite gonna be, group all it's year, It's going to be pretty Andy. close to where we hunted today. He's yeah, told, I do. He's told 12 people this year they're their favorite group, so y'all are one no. of them. I was wondering. I did. Um, you've already told someone so this year already? Else that, everybody else that's listened, you've said you're my favorite group of the year. Nobody's the asked me flat out. Pete are, Peterman asked you, and you no, said yes. Didn't. Yes, him and Big Earl, and they'll be here this weekend. He didn't ask me if so I was you're his telling favorite me group of the year. that you would rather hunt with Logan than Pete. I asked him about me. That's a tough one. Well, answer it. You said they're your favorite. Well, if you have like a real... Real Pete's been here friend. like 20, 20 years. Well, we so. probably don't want to ruffle that. What about fact. Steve Barber? <coughs> Andy, are we I in your top five groups? 100%. All right. Well, yeah. hold on. Let me go top five. Three. I'm going to ask him five groups then, okay? And you... I, can, I can give you the top three. Them, Pete, and Steve. Who's he forgetting about, though? Yeah, who am I forgetting? No, I could go look on the books and find somebody. doesn't matter. I gave him five. So I mean, And you're in top three, so that's that's better than good. five. We have fun. Um, it, it was a real odd question, but he was like, so how do we stack up? I'm like. Mm. Who said mean? that? I'm not gonna divulge names. A here. customer said that. Yes, to you? yes, yes. Oh, he meant as him as their group. Yeah. Oh, how were you felt them on your list of your top? Yeah, clients? yeah, yeah. <clears throat> how do we how do we stack up? What's our rank? I was Sorry. like, are you guys mad at me? I, I like, thought. What about Bucky Nail and them? I love Bucky Nail. Bucky's cool. There's, well, well, well we're seeing not top three. Well, they're only uh, they're only one. Day. <laughs> I, I said top five. I went to top, top five. five. What's There's still what, plenty of room up there. But he's the like, so, so how do we rank? Andy's, no. Andy, I'm walking Andy into the corner because <laughs> I'm questioning him about well, his favorite customers. You're not walking me at, at all. I'm answering the question. Oh, favorite customers? Yeah. Your top me. five. Just top five? <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're, making a, <laughs> you're making a play for top three. I would love top five. <laughs> it's a draft. You're in there. You're, okay. in the, you're in the top five it's already. A draft, okay, so who's the top five? Uh, Steve Barber, Pete Peterman, you guys, and Bucky Nell. I can't think of a fifth one. Fucking Bucky Nail's awesome. He told me he's going to come up and see me. Somebody's listening to this right now. His feelings are hurt because they're like, like damn, we hunt with Andy all the time and we like him and you're forgetting about them and that's a vice. Well, but there's still room in that top five. There's one spot. There's left. one spot left. So I'll give you, you two know. more names. Who? I'm not going to do that to you. Go ahead. I can't think of nobody either. Exactly. No. Well, Tired. what people are going to have January. to realize is that you uh, we're they, also fresh on the brain. They pay right you now. to be nice to them. You don't actually like them. Right. Us, right. you do. So sorry, yeah. guys. It's like, uh, what do they true. say? It's like having a hooker. You don't pay them to fuck you, you pay them to leave. Did I've you t- did you tell him the story before. today? He told me the story. Yeah. Did you laugh? What do you, can we say his name? Yeah, I don't matter. He already did. Go ahead and tell the story for everybody here. Yeah, it's a funny story. Got, it's a visual story. It's a visual it? story. Let's well, just tell it. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, it was hilarious. I'm you, telling you, you got to be in the mood, and like, there's a whole lot of things that have to. So anyway, one day, um, I don't think you got to hear it. We were hunting. Tony and I had this group out, and um, it was two old guys and their sons. And when I say old, I mean like late seventies, early eighties. Okay. Old. Um, we were hunting some of those flatbed trailers, and something broke. A spring. A spring broke, and the wheel well was sitting on the tire. Okay. So Tony, very industrious, when he's not uh, riding his bike and you know wearing do rags, 
Uh, he says, if I, if I, if I, get his finger out of his belly button long enough, <laughs> when he can get his finger out of his belly now button, now he just looks like a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no shit. <laughs> Tony says, if I can, if I can, if you can lift up the side, I can ram a, a shovel handle and that'll get us to, to the lodge. I can fix it. So I said, okay, we had like 10 guys out there that day. So I said, all right, guys, like we're going to, here's what we're going to do. Tony's going to crawl under. We're going to lift up. He's going to shove it in there and we'll be done. So um, everybody starts like getting in position and like, I'm, you know, I'm looking at Tony, making sure he's okay. I'll and, take the heaviest part. Yeah. I'm like, I got it right here. So the old man, <laughs> one of the old men is like, he's hanging back awkwardly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, he's old. He don't want to throw his back out like Jeff and Logan. So it's understandable. <laughs> so I get in position, perfect squat position too like legs are you know parallel with back your legs, straight with your yeah, back, yeah exactly i've done this before oh yeah so vet. got my hands yeah old vet i'm looking at tony I'm, so i'm looking kind of down at my feet and then all of a sudden i see the old man <laughs> you know the white shoes with the velcro straps <laughs> yeah right behind you. <laughs> right i see one go on 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 one side of my shoe <laughs> and then i see the other one slide in on the other side of my shoe what you doing <laughs> and i'm like well this is weird and then all of a sudden, I just feel these cold, clammy, yeah. old man hands just slide over my hands. And Tony's like, all right, lift. And I'm like, fucking lifting. <laughs> and he's lifting with me. And, like, we're both lifting together. <laughs> and I'm pushing into him. <laughs> and, like, he's grunting and moaning. And, you know. You are, too. I'm like, oh, this isn't that bad. <laughs> and then uh, Tony's like, all right, I got it. What and he didn't. He didn't leave. He didn't like. I I let go when I'm trying to pull my hands out from the from the trailer, and like he's still no, holding no, on. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's licking my ear Super and all this. I said, he said he's got it. That's how I talked to him. I look back. <laughs> he said he's got it. You can let go now. Savor the moment. You if you would have had any balls at all, you would have turned around and kissed him on the mouth. <laughs> but I don't Coward. understand. Like, there's plenty of trailer. Like, there's plenty of open spaces. He can come next to me. Andy come in and told us. But that. you only got two hands. He didn't Andy. come next to you he came in you. he came in me but yeah when i saw the old man the velcro that's shoes too funny come on that's both awesome. sides of my feet i was like oh how uncomfortable can a situation get because that's <clears throat> got to be close to the top and he tells that's a story max. and they, they hunted with this for a long time and we're, we'll take it can you take out his name uh i have to go look at it i don't know what, time time stamp did it. you even use it yeah oh i think did. jeff did he used the last name amateur at 115 well jeff i'm the one that has to pull it out so. i said 115 Anyways, he, he's a nice guy, and right. they, send, they send us a, a, a Christmas card every year still, and we keep up with it. And it was those shoes right there, except in white. Oh, nice. Those right there. Not yeah. cheap either. Fuck yeah. No, no. Like, that's a pretty penny. I, I bet he had really good traction when, when to get I up saw, in there. When I saw when I saw the shoes, I know who, I knew who it was. I was like, ah, I've been Were you guys before. about the same height? You guys line up good? Uh, he was a little taller than me, actually, so uh, lined up great for him. Yeah. They send a Christmas card every year, and it's got the detail of everything in their family, how everybody's doing, blah, blah, blah. And it's been going on for years, and so we get one every year. This year, <clears> it was <throat> late coming here. And Michelle's like, oh, my gosh, they died. Thought he did. <laughs> they died. Everybody's dead. Yeah, we, and then we got it like right, like the week of Christmas. I was like, hey, guess what? Well, we look at it, and we've got all – showed Logan. we got all their cards from all them years. and. Huh. All their family pictures, but it was just interesting. From years but, and years and years. But the best story is that story right there. The, <laughs> it was touch and go <laughs> for a minute. Funny. That really is. Because I put myself in that, in that <laughs> position, and I don't like human contact anyway. Right. That would have freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> Old man shoes on both sides. Of I'm, a young, I'm a young man just trying to make it in the world. And then <laughs> if you had it to do over this. again, would you have called his bluff? Would you just let out a <laughs> and shoved your ass back in there? <laughs> <laughs> Just to call his bluff. <laughs> and then if he does it back, you're like, oh, what have I done? I'm calling bullshit on yeah. this, old man. Right. Here, so, here you go. Sometimes you got to call that bluff. That's call the, him daddy. That, that's the most <laughs> awkward thing that we've had with the guy. <clears throat> that's I, awkward. I had an awkward moment in my office one time. It was during dove season, and we busy on Friday and Saturday. Saturday nights, a lot of guys will hunt Friday. They do real good Friday and Saturday night, and they'll they'll drink Saturday night and sleep in Sunday. They won't get up for breakfast. They'll go home. Well, we had a front coming in. We had storms coming that night, and I said, we're going to have storms about 1 o'clock. Who all is going hunting in the morning? It's going to be cold and rainy in the morning, and I'd get a head count, you know, and there's 40 people here, and there'll be 15 people going to breakfast. We'll cook for 15. I don't care if you're here or not. Just let us know. So I had this. I had a – can I say gay? Is that allowed here? Oh, we've been the saying that a I'm lot. Just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I had this guy here, and I think I was, you're an hour. I think you're an hour yeah. twenty late. Yeah, I, I, exactly. Timestamp that. I, I'm pretty sure he, he was gay. Anyways, he come in the office and he was talking to me. He said, 
well, we're just not going to hunt in the morning. We're going to sleep in. I said, okay, that's fine. No problem at all. He said, we sure appreciate it. And I said, he said, we're just going to do a lot of drinking tonight. I said, well, that'd be a good time. Y'all have a good time. I said, is that y'all's Jack Daniels? There's a whole handle full of Jack Daniels was left in the social room that morning. I go, is that y'all's Jack Daniels over there? He goes, no, sir. He goes, but boy, if it's over there, when I get over there, it's going to be some fun times. He goes, I will be naked dancing on that pool table over there. I was like, okay. Oh, God. I thought, boy, that ought to be something everybody be talking about around here. Was it Scotty Goggles? <laughs> well, I didn't want to mention no names, but yes. Oh, yes. Hey, well, you mind cutting that yeah. out. Any but anyways, he, he did. That's that's what he told me. Did he get Ooh. drunk and get naked? I, I went home with bed. I don't know what he did. But uh, I had it, I had it that. But the same guy calls me up during goose season. He goes, do you have any room for us? Do you remember us? The Jack Daniels guy. That's what he told me. I said, yeah, I remember you. He said, you have room for two. I said, yeah. So he comes up and hunted with me. Well, he had told me, he goes, I, I've been down at Albany deer hunting. And I don't think he was hunting with Bucky Nail, but one of the ranches next door. And I don't want to tell the guy that guides him because he's a friend of mine. I don't want to put him on He was spot. probably with Bucky. Don't let him <laughs> fool you. Anyways, he, uh, he goes, <clears throat> yes, I've been down there to shoot a wild pig. He goes, me and Ralph. It was his husband, boyfriend, whatever. He goes, we got a pig and we're going to get it mounted or, or get a rug put. We're going to put it in our self in our uh, bathroom. Like, oh, that'd be pretty cool. I, I think a wild hog rug is pretty cool, anyways. Right. He goes, we're just having hell finding someone that'll do it. And do it, tan it pink for us because we want it pink. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole deal to shoot a wild pig so he could get the furrier to dye it pink for him to put in his bathroom. Hey, but you know, good for him. He's an outdoorsman still. Hey, he likes to it, get out and do it. It's still, if, if you know, they have a crippling disability. Yeah. Well, you don't hear about a lot of. Oh, I mean, he sounds like he was. I mean, there's go plenty ahead. of gay people go that ahead. do it, yeah. but he sounded like he was a flaming gay person wanting to go out and do it. That just, so you don't think the flaming gays like, really hunt? They don't that, that hunt. Seems, that seems like the flaming ones. It seems yeah. like kind of a rarity, is all. Well, yeah, I would get the cocks out I'm of not, I, I would, I would, I'm with you. I'm with you on this though, because in our hunting and the demographics we have, I don't think we have very many. But maybe we outgoing, need to start advertising to these people and get more people. What do you mean, those people? Those people. Yeah, what are you talking about these people? The the I, the gays. Stanfield like hunting gay. outfitters, gay friendly. Gay yeah. friendly. We'll put it on the sign up there. Yeah, that's not happening. No, Spe- no. special accommodations. I'll tell you a funny story we did to Steve Barber the next, one time. The next show, whenever it says Stanfield Hunting Outfitters, and it's gay friendly, <laughs> but part gay. One of the <laughs> the the when they goose hunted out here, <laughs> I can't remember exactly how it happened, but anyway, we had to walk up to him and his partner's uh, vehicle. And when they rolled the window down, it was an odor like I had never smelled before. That's butt sex, that's, baby. That, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. And, 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 and it was humid, yeah. and it was humid in there, uh, and yeah. like it, it was. They were hot boxing. They, yeah, they were doing something. In there. We, uh, you should smell our studio. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> you should smell the pheasant fields about I'll, midnight. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you a funny story about old Steve Barber. I did to him though, and Steve's old timer, and he's fun to jack with about stuff. Well, I had some gay pride hunting. The Rainbow mm-hmm. Gay Hunting Association, Gay Pride Hunting Association stickers made, yep. and um, like twenty five or thirty of them. So Steve come up here and we put them on the back of his truck. Put one of them on the back of his truck. And he pull, he used to pull in room seventy backs up there like he owns a place always. And <clears throat> that's our room. Yep, and uh, that's where the gay guys go. So all all, the, all <laughs> dinner, right all, all at dinner, the other groups. I told them what was going on. I had two or three groups here, and I told them so they'd go up to Steve and be like, "Man, I'm." I'm so proud. My nephew's like that. It's nice to see someone that's, that's not ashamed of that. You know, people are people. And I personally, before you get into this, I don't have no problem with gay people. I don't give a shit if you're gay or not. Anyways, we kept I telling. I don't either. We My just, best friend's gay. Yeah. We just kept telling. So everybody kept coming in. That's to, true. Blake. Yeah, Blake. Oh. Everybody kept coming in and telling Steve that. And Steve's I thought you meant Fox. Steve's I was like, like, I didn't know he was gay. <laughs> Steve's like, what the, f- what the fuck's going on around here? I'm like, oh, he said, all these fuckers keep coming and tell me they're proud of me. And she don't even know these fuckers. He goes, what's going on? I said, fuck, I don't know. He goes outside and he comes in. Okay, you fucking assholes. He's got the sticker <laughs> off. Who the fuck did her? So what he did was I gave everybody, Steve was with a group of 20 guys in the plastics business. I gave everyone of them a bumper sticker. Steve would go to their place and do business. Nice. Somebody stick it on there. And he'd call me up. That son of a bitch. Fucking Chris Johnson, that son of a bitch, he's the one that's doing them stickers, huh? I fucking went to his place today, and I got them gay pride stickers on my damn truck again. Honk if you like gay people or something. I can't remember what we put on it. Honk if you're horny. And, and so, <laughs> and then like two days later, he goes, son of a bitch. He goes, that's damn Ralph did that shit. It wasn't Chris. That fucker's got, he did this shit for two weeks. He couldn't figure it out. And finally, he called me. So you asshole, how many of them damn stickers did you give people? Because everywhere he'd go, every time he'd go, to, they'd put it right on the back of his window and shit, and he wouldn't know it. He'd be on the highway, and people would like beep at him. <laughs> 
Hey. 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 A lot of thumbs up. Yeah. Lots of thumbs up. He was a popular guy there for a and long time. And he said he couldn't figure that shit out. He said, but everywhere he'd go, and he finally one day, about two or three weeks later, you son of a bitch, how many of them things do you get printed up? So I think there's 25 of them. Didn't you say that Steve is the other asshole like me that'll just walk right into the kitchen? You yes. always have to. Oh, yeah. yeah. He don't have no, no, he has no boundaries. Well, I've, I've got Logan. a system. I figured it out. He'll be here next you, week. You hacked the system is what you did. Yeah, well, because I think your mother loves me. Not like that. Right. We're just close. So I just walk straight to her and start talking to Michelle. Because I know. Is, she's the real gatekeeper. I'm sure. aware. Yeah. She's the one that pulls all the punches. I go strutting past pulls everybody. I'm like, oh, hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. What's funny is when she's really pissed about something, she bitches to me about it. If she is really, really mad, she wants me to fix something. That don't happen very lot. Usually, I, I have a trouble understanding the difference between venting and bitching. Mm -hmm. Like she's venting to me or she's bitching because it sounds the same to me, you know. And she doesn't like me to fix things. Well, don't fucking bitch to me about it if you don't want me to fix it. Does Hallie do that? Yes. I'm sorry. What? Yes. Bitch at you. Yes. Not to. No, I think they're he working. Lo he lost his head. They're, they're working. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, we lost you. Does she want you second. to fix things, or does she just want you to listen? Yeah. No, no, she. <laughs> no, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, and and uh, usually at the end of the conversation, I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do? It's like I don't want you to do anything. I just, I just want you to fucking hear me. I just need somebody to talk to. I'm like, okay, that's what I'm Wouldn't here for. Wouldn't it be nice to have a problem and someone say, I'll fix that for you? Hell yeah, that's yeah. what I want. No shit. We'll, we'll never know what that's like unless you're gay. <laughs> yeah, it must be. I'm telling you, it's true. <laughs> if you take the sex part out of it, I don't know if there'd be a better relationship than just being homosexual. I'm you're, with you. I you're thought just about, hanging out with dudes. I thought about doing, this. doing if, stuff you like to do. If watching you take the football, sex part, yeah. barbecuing, drinking bourbon. Divorce rate for gay guys has to be like eight percent. The I, I I tornado chase with the gay couple, and this is a true story. Great guys. They have the same things in common. Did they keep yelling, big one coming down the pipe? No. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, like, nothing, nothing like that. Super She's good dudes. really sucking. Super good, su su super good guys. But they don't bitch about nothing. There's no fighting. No, I mean, they... No, I'm oh, telling you. They, they have the same... in the back seat like, they, oh, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry, oh, boy. I thought we were talking about the tornado. They have the same things in common. Yeah. You know? And, and dudes. It's, it's crazy. We'll be somewhere, and I was like, where do y'all want to eat at? Someone makes up a decision right then. <laughs> it take 30 fucking minutes. I don't yeah. care I don't wherever care. you want to go. Yeah. I hate that shit. Okay, so uh, text wrote us. No. No, definitely yeah, not no, it. No. Pizza. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barbecue. No. But not I don't care where Chinese? we go. No. So where do you want to go? I don't care. I don't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Right. You want to get pasta? No. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm, they run you out of options. See, and I've got No, I want to be gay. Just take out the sex. I'm take gay. out the sex and we're there. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> but the other day. Dude, please. All gay all day. We were we were in uh we were in Abilene picking up Fox, who you thought was gay. Well, I and, thought that was your best friend. Oh, man. right. Um I and, thought he was gay. And I told <laughs> same same fucking conversation. Where do you want to eat? I don't care, wherever. I'm like, okay. Uh how about just like we did? How about barbecue? Oh no, I got heartburn. Oh, you talking about Fox? No, Jesse. Oh well Fox My wife. I, sometimes he has a vagina though. <clears throat> no, Fox Fox was cool with anything. She's like She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was cool with anything? Yeah. Yeah, he's down to clown. He's down. So I was like, barbecue. Oh, no, I got heartburn. Well, how about uh, Buffalo Wild Wings? No, that'll be bad. I'm like, motherfucker. Here we go again. Then just fucking pick. Just yeah, pick. But they won't. I'm driving. They I won't. can't I can't fucking look at anything. Like, tell me. You tell me what sounds good, because I'll eat anything. At the moment they pick the restaurant, they've stopped frustrating us. That is true. And that would be so unsatisfying to them. The that biggest problem true. I have is when we go somewhere and I pick it, Salad's too warm. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, Something's it's wrong. terrible. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> my fucking fault. I'm looking at the damn salad. The menu's sticky. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you know what I'm talking about, all that shit. Fuck yeah, man. It's like, yeah. I picked this place. It don't matter where we're going. No. We're going to Mexico in three weeks. I'm going to pick up. We're going to go to a really it's cool be shit. Italian place there in Mexico, an Italian Mexican restaurant. Good luck. Yeah. And sure enough, there'll be something. It'll be a great place, and they'll be there, and it'll be something wrong. I'll be like, don't matter where the fuck we go. Let's go to fucking McDonald's I've, and have polo tenders. Fuck it. I give up. <laughs> I, I quit. Yeah, and see, like, I don't, for instance, I don't like Chinese food that much. But mm -hmm. if we were, and if Hallie and I were somewhere and she was like, I really want Chinese, I'd be like, okay, let's you go. You say, okay, let's that's do right. It. And yep. I would eat it, and that would be it. Yep. And then It'll I'll, make a turd. And if that was reversed, you'd be like, sort of. <laughs> if you don't <laughs> like Chinese food? Um, it's not my favorite, no. Which blows my mind. I love it. Hallie loves it. It's, it's not my favorite. I'm like, if I'm ever anywhere by myself, I... 
that's probably the last place I'd go. I don't understand why anybody, how nobody can like sweet and sour pork, and I don't understand how anybody can't like some one Almost of the fried rice. Any of it, I love it all of it. But the only Chinese that sucks is when they try to cook American food, like a roast yeah. or yeah, a fried right. chicken, or <laughs> yeah. that stuff usually sucks at a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. But their stuff, they nail all the time. The chicken wings are outstanding at those places usually, which is something you're just bitching about. But I do like the chicken wings with the, with the sweet and sour sauce. Ah, chicken wings. Yeah. Ah. Raw, raw, raw. Hurry, <laughs> chic. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I love I love Chinese food, and I just you don't so you don't even like egg rolls. Uh, oh, they're all right. I mean, they're, it's fine. It's all fine to me. Okay, I guess I shouldn't say that I dislike Chinese food, but I will just you just dislike. You'll the never Chinese. eat it on your own. I just I'm so mad at the Chinese people. So no, it's I, why? No, COVID. I, that was a joke. Still COVID. <laughs> yeah, still pissed about that. No, I, it's taking just, TikTok I would, away. I would just never choose Chinese. I'll always pick like bar food or something. I mean, we, we had uh, we were in uh, New York. Some customers, the clients that we have too. On a pizzeria, there Patsy's Pizzeria, and it's not, there's there's three of them in New York, and we had cheese. They had Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, and we had them at Christmas time. They mm-hmm. brought some to us. Sounds phenomenal. Motherfuckers are awesome. About sounds great. Very, very, very good. I highly recommend that to anybody. Anybody that's eating there, talk about them. Because I had the client here that eats there sometimes. Another group from New York was here, and I said something about it. And they're like, "Oh, you have to try their Philly cheesesteak rolls." So egg rolls. Well, we've had them. They're very good. Well, See, good. I think I'm too easy going. Like I'll, I'll eat fucking anything. Yeah, you want to go have hamburgers? I'll have a hamburger fucking every day of the week. You right. want to go have pizza? Let's go have pizza. Yep. Buffalo Wild Wings? Sure, let's do it. I'm Fuck cool. It. Yeah. Steak? You want a nice steak? Let's do it. Tacos, pasta, barbecue. I don't care. Don't give a shit. I do not care. And you can make a decision. Well, I would make a decision. That's what drives me nuts, though, when they don't do that. But then um, I, I start bouncing ideas, and she's like, no, nah, not that. See, I'm just a sucker. Had that a week ago. I'm a sucker for a big old cold beer and, like, right. one of those 30-ounce mugs. So yeah. any place that has that, fuck yeah, let's go eat there. Right I don't there. give a shit what's on the menu. You mentioned TikTok. Do you think they'll ban it, the yeah, government? Yes, I think. I, I do, think, too, personally. I think it It'd is. be pretty sad, man. Dun- because Republicans and Democrats, that's the one thing they can get behind. Uh, they can't get a new Speaker of the House, but they'll ban TikTok. I saw where um, I talked to my congressman today about that. Really? Yes. Did he call you? No, I messaged him about it. About TikTok? No, about uh, voting for who I wanted for. Oh, I want who Jim did you Jordan. tell him to vote for? Jim Jordan. I said, I want did Jim Jordan. Did he say uh, already on it? No. I think you mean Bill Jordan. He told me <laughs> that. Uh, Matt he Getz said, uh, he appointed him or he said he, whatever. He goes, he does not want it. He goes, he's openly told ever he does not want it. That's why he needs it. That's why, and that's what that's I said. That's why we chose Batman. I said, I said I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Let right me now. get this straight, Andy. When they say they don't want it, you think they need it. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Sounds pretty rapey. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that is kind of rapey. That's yeah. so rapey. And, and not in a good way. <laughs> not in a good way. But, well, I, but I told him, I said. In no sense of the word rapey isn't ever good. No, no, no. We just Let's said. clear that up. Yes. What time stamp that? Yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, I, I told him that you I said, me. the American people are tired of the same shit. And I said, we're tired of laundering money to Ukraine. I don't give a shit what you want to say. People are tired of it. I don't give a shit what side of the aisle you're on. Democrats, Republicans. Look, it's already cost we're, more than the Afghan war, yeah, which took a long time. We're tired of it. I mean, we are fucking sick and tired of watching you guys get rich, laundering money through Ukraine. I'm yeah. tired of it. Did you say you guys? I said politicians. Oh. Yeah. Well, so why not have Trump run for Speaker of the House and then DeSantis run for president? They don't want that. Wouldn't she be okay with that? Uh, yeah, I would. yes, I would be. They're not going to do that because the deep state on both sides doesn't want Trump, including Kevin McCarthy. He don't want Trump. But people are tired of that shit. We want someone has got some balls up there that's going to do something. We get sick of promises because you know what happened? For four fucking years, we had a guy that actually done what he said he was going to do. You know, then they hate that up there because it could be done. I agree. I mean, I didn't. It'd be vote. nice if someone had some balls and also had a better way to uh, show his balls. I don't think there's a better way of coming across and have balls in, in D.C. You can't kiss ass and get shit done without even kissing ass. Just uh, be a little more uh, presidential. Political? Yeah, yeah, presidential. You want to be more more presidential with balls? Yeah, but you can't do. They don't go hand in hand. Talk like this. Do you want someone? More, more you like seem like complete sternly. You seem like a guy that appreciate someone that speaks their mind. Absolutely. And if someone that tells you they're going to do something, they try They try to do it. They yeah. may not do it, but they try, and they put an effort to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely, 100%. There ain't a fucker in Washington, D.C. like that out there. Oh, no, they're all sleazebags. That's that's why it was nice to see a guy. In, and I tell you what, Donald Trump's probably an asshole. I'm sure about that 100%. Well, I'm sure he is. But yeah. I'm an asshole. You're one of my best friends, and I think you're a douche. Yeah, yeah you're a cocksucker. <clears throat> but that's what we need. But anyways, <clears throat> they, they're, 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 they've, add, they've actually gained a little bit, Jordan has. 
I thought he was only like 10. You got to get the 20 now. You got to get the 218. No, 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 no. But he's gaining. People are starting to drop off the other side, and he's had some people switch over. You got to go to 218. I understand that. He's at 20. That's right. But now they're fixing to have to reconvene and have another meeting. I don't think he'll ever be speaker. But I don't know that Kevin McCarthy is going to be either. So, so we're going to go elect a Democrat? No, no. That you have to have two eighteen. But the Na- Democrats ain't going to get two eighteen. They got two twelve. That's all they're going to get. But Nancy with the tits is out. Yes, so, right. she's out. They're you gonna- don't you don't think it's possible to have someone with the balls and the fortitude of say like Trump, but could speak like say maybe Obama, who was an awesome speaker. He was a good speaker. But who are they? You don't think? I don't know who they are. But I'm saying you don't think it's even possible that someone's floating around somewhere. No, maybe I, someone listen to this that doesn't know their call to office is to get an office. Did you see Trump push this guy out of the way when he was there? Fuck at yeah, NATO? dude! I love this video. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> the, just a big old fucking. Bye. Coming Coming fucking bear <laughs> Boom. But that's American. And by God, these pussy just, woke people, they don't realize it. We beat the fucking British as underdogs. We gotta fix this coat. What a fucking... <laughs> she, do you see, she put her hand out to shake his and he didn't do it? Says, well, didn't watch that. Get out of the way. <laughs> Fuck Get you. out of the way, baby. I got, oh, I got uh, shit hi, to do. Hi, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? Eat shit, bitch. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you put your hand... Yeah, but there you, you know go. what, though? That's America. America is not about being second place. America is not about being politically correct. America is about being the big dog and doing the right thing. And we've gotten so far away that because of woke people are a bunch of pussies. But yet, I think it's going to be hard to find video. a guy that's got the It'd tact, be the perfect storm. But but someone with balls that could actually, you know, get and, you know beautiful. sell it because they could talk. Thank you. Talk to Everybody up there is fake, though. It's a Marshall. No doubt. Just about 100% agree. It. I'll tell you, a, a guy that's the smartest guy in the room always. And you. Andy no, Shaver. Ted Cruz. Smartest guy in the room at all times. He seems pretty sharp. But I think he folds yeah. when it counts. He did leave Texas. You gotta have a backbone. He did leave Texas when we were freezing. That's he smart. Went to smartest guy in the room. <laughs> Fucking freeze your yeah, ass off in Houston with no electricity. Without a backbone. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're going to run for president in 2024, I'm going to give you a little cheat sheet. If your constituents are without power, stay. maybe stay in the country. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. But, well, but I'm just yeah. saying. It is but, a bad look. But it is. It is a bad look. But Send your family. We have, I'm du- cool we have with a double that. standard. And it's also fodder for debate, a yes. future debate. Yep. Right. We have, we I have also double think that he already had that trip oh, yeah. scheduled, if he, I remember right. He, he did. I'll go but with I that. Don't bl- I don't blame him and send his family. You know, I've got the means. I'm going to get my family out of being miserable, but right. I'll be miserable here with you. I'll I could understand that. Just like Blake's friend who rode with me to the to the crane field today, he said when, the when killing, we got the killing the field. Killing field when we got really cold, him and his wife went to Arizona where his brother is. They've got the means to do it. They didn't want to be cold in Nebraska. Go to Arizona. How, how about this? But if we he's not the leader of no. you know, so we, many people. But we got a double standard. I mean, look at the shit Joe Biden. He's been on vacation 40% of the time he's been in office. Saw I saw it was more than that. It was 40% is what I thought I was saw. It? Or maybe have he's you, been to work 40%. I think either. they're all on vacation yes. the same amount of time. Well, it's but, a paid vacation by us. Right. And then each side calls out the other side whenever it happens. You know what I mean? So I had they're a, all hypocrites. I had a Secret Service guy hunt with me. Uh, it was after Trump won. So it was, in t- it was like 2017. And so, uh, no, 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 when was it? No, it, it was. was. It was after he won the primary. Yes, because it was fixing to be the. It was the year before. The, no, it, it no, it was. It was after he got elected. It was. Yes, because we wouldn't have been hunting because it would have been November fourth would have been election right. day. It was the okay. first year he so, was in office. Okay, yeah. So he said. So he Secret Service. They would. They would get. They got assigned a candidate. He got assigned Bernie Sanders when everything was going off when Trump beat Hillary. So, oh, um, God, can you imagine if you had to take a bullet for old Bernie? Could you imagine? Sitting there with his so he said <laughs> you would get like a rotation. So you, you would be with somebody for like 10 days and then you would switch candidates for like four days and you so that you wouldn't get too comfortable. So they always switch you. You go 10 days with your primary person, four days, somebody else. OK, so um, he said he lost all faith whenever he saw. Republicans and Democrats. So evidently there's like a steakhouse up somewhere in Washington and they would all go to it. Like a swanky one that they all go to. And they were probably all hugging and, they would and high-fiving. All, and they would all sit together, he oh, said, yeah. and they would all like choreograph like, okay, I'm going to hit you on taxes. You hit me on the border. And he said, everything's choreographed. Bunch of fucking cheese. All dudes. playing each he other. He said, all of the, all of the big wigs would sit down 
and they would they would stage everything. That's like, shitty. You do this to me, I'll do this to it's you. WWE. And, and we'll get exactly exactly. And we have let them do that to us though. And he was like, There's this big weight room there that they all work out in. And he's like, They're best buds. Well, it's a shame. The people that could actually run this country or their states uh the way it should be done in betterment for the people don't want the fucking job because they think politicians right. are slimy. So politicians become politicians, and then they do the shit we're bitching about. We yep. had a businessman that was right. president for a while, and things in America were good for America first because he was all about his business first. <coughs> Done a good job. It and we won't get that again. be bought or sold. Nope. And, and now, his taxes show that he lost money while he was yep. president. All the first person. president ever that lost money while he was in office. First politician ever that lost money while he was in office. Yeah, most of them gained about $100, bill, or $100 million. Yeah. $140 I'm, I'm million more, I'm since more, 2007, Nancy Pelosi's yeah. made. I'm more interested <laughs> in On a knowing, job that pays two hundred k a year. Figure that, it out. That's what I want to know. I don't want to know why a guy <laughs> that's worth $7 billion when he becomes president is $4 billion now. I don't want to know about that. I want to know how you make $200,000 a year and can flip it into $50 And how it doesn't raise million. an eyebrow. Yes. Yeah. Because the media don't, because they own the media. And so um, trader. she's a better stock trader than Warren Buffett. She's a better stock trader than anybody. Like, better than the computer. Or at least give us some of that insider training information. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> Her, uh, what did they say? So I guess. She uh, is the algorithm. Yeah. Um, I am the computer. <laughs> so here's what you need to buy. You need to buy Meta. Because all the congressmen are dumping. They know TikTok's going to get banned. So they started buying Meta, which is Facebook and Instagram. Right. They started buying that about two months ago. But isn't Meta just pretty much a huge shiny turd? They're all I mean, buying it. Hasn't it hasn't caught on yet. They're all buying They're it. They're saying this is it. They're the, saying uh, that Andy's I, pro stock tip. It's the next big thing. <clears throat> Get Meta right now. I'm telling you right now, all the congressmen are What's doing What's it running for right now? I can look it up. All I've done is fuck you over on stocks. Hey, you've uh, not done the best. Did you did I'll you follow Logan's stock advice? I did. Doge Diamond coin. hands? Right, Doge right, coin, baby. right to the fucking poorhouse, Hell baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still... Have you sold though? Because like uh, you know, I'm still holding on. I'm waiting for the big rebound. No way, I still got it. Nobody I recovers from Logan's <laughs> stock advice. I still got it. Uh, <laughs> did you see where AOC's got the the dander of the media pissed off at them now? Some guy that's called her out, some uh, congressman from Arizona or somewhere that's called. Her, they're sitting chummy visiting the last couple of days, and so they're just mad as hell about it's that. At 127. Shit. What's that video with? It looks like she's getting worth, into it, it back and be? forth with somebody. 200 is that within that guy? six months. Same guy. Is that what you're saying? 200. Really? But so now on. they're now they're, they were chummy visiting, and people are pissed off about it. Wow. I thought she was chewing his ass. They saw him having a nice conversation somewhere, and now people are mad. They're fucking. Do you think that's what it I'd is? I'd have to see context, though. You know, people can be mad and still have a conversation, right? We're, we're doing that's it. the problem. <laughs> that's the problem we have in DC, though. They're all they're professional politicians, and they're all going to script. And it's all about the party. And we've balls. gotten away. When, when we started off, when, when we that's started off, having, yeah. it was people that were leaving their jobs that were successful people, and and your neighbors trusted him. I trust Bill. He's really good. He's traded dairy cows. Did whatever he did. Yeah. He works. We're gonna send him to Washington to represent us because we trust him. We don't trust them fucking sleaze balls. There ain't none of them we fucking trust them more. I have no respect for anybody I'm in Washington. You, see? you couldn't couldn't say it better myself. So I don't know if we'll ever find someone with balls intact because I don't think it's possible because the media will crucify them. Well, I'm hoping that uh, someone's out there because if you have someone that has, like I said, tact and good speech ability along with say Trump's balls and fortitude and sticking up for you know, the problem is us, is that they're gonna. I don't. Could be. A, I've got a pretty, I've got a pretty clean background, but I wouldn't want my name and I wouldn't want my family to be drugged through the mud like they're gonna do it because I'm gonna be on the Republican side of politics. So like they're gonna drag everything that I've ever done through the mud, and I don't want to go through that. The media is horrible about that. Also part of their tactic because they own right. that. They own it. If we had a true media that done their job, Trump would still be president. If we had a fair election, he'd probably still be president. Let's be honest. I mean, that's if we. Say, I don't know if you can say that or the not. Time marks out. Well, we are definitely getting banned. Time stamp. We talked about the <laughs> and the cheating. So, uh, uh, no, of course you agree. Everybody's got a fucking brain knows that shit. Common sense tells you that shit. And it's horse shit that we can't say it out That's loud. That's right. And it's bullshit. Why can't we? We can talk about everything else. I promise you right now, if we talked about the, uh, the election in France, you can say whatever you want to about it. Would, no problem at all. Why does why does YouTube give two fucks if we talk about an election? I don't I have no idea. Have you not been reading the Twitter files? But they do. Care. No, but you, they do because they're owned. They, they're controlled they by the DNC. Those and it's not DNC. It's, a, it's a, whoever's running all that shit out there. The Twitter files explains everything. Lizard people. people. I How, haven't. I haven't looked. Fucking into lizards, either. man. Lizard people. How about uh, <laughs> the JFK files getting unsealed? They said the CIA did it. it was a fucking, yeah. Just well, that's unsealed. a big shock. I'm well, I'm fifty-four yeah, and I've known out, that for forty years. But for years. them to come out and say it. 
Yeah, but for them to say it... Because that, everybody's dead that's not involved. Yeah, but still, your own government knocked off a president? Who was the head of the CIA when that happened? Oh, gee, I wonder. Yeah. George H.W. Bush. That's right. So, oh, so he... Uh, Harvey Oswald, didn't he die with his... No, I'm, I think I'm... No, it was... Uh, Jack Ruby? No, uh, he was in the drugs. Um, fucking Roger Reeves guy. Oh, uh, Barry Seals. Barry Seals. When he died, he had George H.W. Bush's private phone number in his pocket. He also had Jeb Bush, a picture of Jeb Bush at a runway with something, and that's what happened to him. Oh, that, Barry Seals is dead, the guy that Tom Cruise played? Yes. yes. Or did they, they also shot his ass in Baton Rouge? Guy. Really? His mm-hmm. dumb ass had the picture and the president's phone number in his pocket and thought that would be a get-out-of-jail-free card. Well, Pablo Escobar didn't think so. Oh, it was Pablo that had him killed? Oh, well, one of the Mexican cartels. I don't know who. Which it was one probably was. one of the fucking Bushes that no, had him killed. The CIA did, but he was flying CIA ops in. It was wild. Didn't Pablo once uh, claim to, he said he'd pay off his government's debt if they. Yeah, they said no. Just let him go. Yeah, if they didn't, you know, they kept Dumb fuckers should have done that it shit. It was like a billion dollars. Um, they said no. Nah, we'll fuck keep it. the debt. We'll keep the debt. We're good, man. I'll pay $100 bills. You can wipe so, your ass with them. So what did they, what did they. Kill JFK for like because what was the smoking? Two, what what he piss him off about? Two, two theories. One of them was the gold standard. Yeah, he wanted to get out. He of wanted that, to get rid of the w- Fed. One of the Fed, tra- and the other one is is the war machine. In World War Two, a group of gentlemen figured out they can get fucking rich off of war. Is what happened. They started losing wealth, and so Phew, let's get into Korean War. Why do we fight Korea? I don't know. That I mean, why did we fight in Vietnam? Well, I we think like fighting other people's wars. It was, it was especially just, if it's it, North versus South. Well, here's prevent the, communism was our re- excuse for it. Right? Why yeah. are we fighting in Ukraine right now, or why are we funding them? Well, here's the thing: it's actually one theory. The gold standard and the war machine theory are the same theory because the Rothschilds are the one who control, you know, the the, right. world, the world's wealth and, and all the banks, and they have funded every both sides of every war since Napoleon. Right. So if he, you know, wanted if to get play rid- both sides, you always come out of one. If he you wanted to get rid win. of the gold standard, pisses off the Rothschilds. If he wants to stop the war machine, pisses off the Rothschilds. So it's basically one theory. And they had that dumbass from fucking Texas, LBJ. That hey, you're seeing that picture of uh, <laughs> when poor Jackie is crying and she's covered in blood, and LBJ or there's some guy winking at LBJ. Mm-hmm. No, but it doesn't surprise me. You can probably type in LBJ was the the speaker or the he wasn't speaker of the house he was the Senate Majority Leader when he got asked to be the vice president hmm. turned it down at first. That's when they don't want it. That's when you got to give it to and them. And so Sam Rayburn told him at Lake Kemp at a fish house up this here. This week's rapey talk. He said you need Andy to, he was fishing right up here, and he said you need to call it back. He said that little Catholic bastard from Boston will never ever survive there. And LBJ took the job. Really. That's rumor mill from North Texas from when I was a kid on. I've heard that same story. There's been murmurings. Did you have you heard the theory where the Rothschild, I guess the Rothschilds own the Titanic? Uh, And they got basically all of the world's, they got everybody that opposed them on the Fed and everything on the 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 Titanic. The Astors was on there, one of them. There was a bunch of people. That's another big conspiracy theory is the Titanic. Well, and they were supposed to be on that. The last minute, they didn't get on the Titanic. Well, and we all know what happened. J.P. Morgan hopped off the Titanic. Maybe but, that's who it was. Yeah, and and there was I think there might have been a couple others, but uh, there was like three or four big money guys who went ahead and rode on the Titanic, and J.P. Morgan didn't get on, right? Because they were actually I think they were trying to go against the Fed also, or no? Because the Fed wasn't even a thing then. So do you think you had insider information? Is that what you're saying? It Absolutely. was J- it was J.P. Morgan. Right. The Titanic was owned by J.P. Morgan. Okay, that's what I thought. He was wanting to go to this route, and everybody that opposed him got on the boat and went down with the ship. Yeah, and he's like, oh, wait, I forgot oh, something in the car. shit, and it left without me. My own my own boat left without now, me. Now, voyage. Now, let's, 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 let's talk about this and be in reality now. How hard is it? And this is 1918, correct? Is that when the Titanic went down? 50% right now. What are the chances are of them fucking going to an, uh, hitting an iceberg and skimming the bottom of that fucking pun? I mean, on well, all seriousness. Well, they're saying that they didn't skim the iceberg. They think they blew it up? Just sunk it. That's what he's saying. Yep. Blew a hole That's inside. what I'm saying. You're talking submarine stuff. Correct. Or they already had bombs on there and it was an inside detonation. So not right. Which one deal. are we going with? Either, Either. I don't care. Okay. Dealer's choice. But do you Take see it. where what I... if you had a submarine tail the whole time? <laughs> but and the passengers just keep you seeing see where a parasite from this, this deal. 
but also wouldn't be that hard just to open some fucking hatches, right? And right. you've got to get you got to get guys to agree to die that's in there to open a hatch up. Unless they had a ticket out of there. Jeff, they did that uh, for the kamikaze pilots. Especially back then, it'd be easier to pull they off. They were on meth. Methamphetamine, baby. You could save a lot, you know, save your family and your family's family if you just do this little favor. and Do this little do this little See, thing I, for us. I, I, I don't disagree on the, th- the, the part of all those people that are opposing J.P. Morgan, him getting off. I'm not disagreeing any of that part. I know that's all true. I have a hard time believing that a guy drove it into an iceberg to sink it. Now, if you told me someone had explode had bomb, did they have submarines in nineteen eighteen? They didn't have much of one if they did. No, They've been pretty crude. So. They uh, were they were still fighting war on horseback in some countries in nineteen eighteen, so I wouldn't think they had submarines. Well, they were fucking riding they horses here doing really shit until the white man came here. I mean you, but in nineteen eighteen, I think you know, we weren't fighting war on they horses. Surely we still had, had cavalry. World War One was cavalry. Well, for the Russians. I don't know. We, we had, still had cavalry too in World War One. We did. Didn't you ever watch Mash? Colonel yeah. Potter was on the cavalry. Uh, Mash. Mash was about the Korean War. Yeah, yeah but the Colonel. Yeah. The Colonel was a <clears throat> cavalry in World War One. He was a, he oh, gotcha. was a war savvy veteran. Yeah, they had they, we had cavalry in World War One too. I don't know how often we used it, but we had a cavalry. Have you you've seen those old timey movies? Like, what we have a cavalry now? They we actually do. used a horse in World on War One. Hmm. What is matter of fact? Have you not seen Patton? I'm not buying it. You never seen Patton? Yeah, World I, War Two. He died riding in a jeep, and that was in World War Two. They was say he, he was World killed War also, One. right? What, didn't they? Isn't there a conspiracy theory about that? That was mm. Trump's dad. His, his own troops killed him. Probably he was a horse's ass. There's one for you to look up. <laughs> no, I think there's a conspiracy on him too. But killing Patton. Yeah. But, but I, I'm a I am a believer that that the war machine is the reason why we are in Ukraine right now. Why we did Vietnam and we did everything. It all makes sense. Before World War One, war was not profitable. I mean, it was civil war. Nothing come out good of that. Right. No, are you sure, Jeff? Well, on, uh, on on someone on someone making a profit. Let me say, let me, <laughs> nothing uh, good came of it. Let, 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 let me rephrase that because that's not what I meant. <laughs> that, that, the whole slavery deal. Yeah. No, <laughs> we were insinuating. We love it. We were, it was not. Things. It was not a profit making okay. war. I forgot we're in the South. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> war, <laughs> I, and I don't know much about World War One, but from World War Two on, everything people got rich off of World War Two. They got rich off of the Korean War, the Vietnamese War, the Vietnam War. They got rich off of Desert Storm, Israel. Every fucking battle in the world, our damn politicians are in because they've become lobbyists. Well, probably, I mean, the richest off the, the Iraqi and Desert Storm and all tons those. of that stuff. But so there's much been, oil. But there's been so many other wars going on that we have we have third world countries. We're selling them, you know, hand grenades and shit. They're making a ton of money off that shit. What country produces all the um, ammunitions in the world just about? Russia. Or owns it? No. The U.S. owns most oh. of those companies. Damn it. Now, I'm not saying Russia. Russia, but the United States, own, people in the U.S. Russia own all them companies. Russia produces a ton of ammo. They do. And it's probably all of it's owned and funded by the United States or the oligarchs over it's there. It's possible. I have no idea. But that's where all that money comes from. When there's when the Sandinistan rebels were fighting, the United the CIA was in the middle of a fucking deal. There ain't a conflict been going on in a hundred years that the CIA's not funding. Well, here's I'll a, agree. They have their fingers in everything. Here's one bit of a problem. Putin has spoke out that he is totally against the uh like the deep state and the Illuminati and all that's that. That's why they hate his ass. Right. So they gonna, uh-oh. they're gonna kill him. Uh-oh. They'd like to. Who's next? Ooh, I don't Who's know. gonna take over when he's gone? I have no idea. You know? In the word of George Jones, who's going to fill those shoes? And, and and you know what? The Chinese are the, the tall. same way. Walk that tall. Stand that You know, tall. the Chinese are getting paid a lot of money, but I don't think the Chinese is into the deep. They're not going to let someone else tell them what to do. You wouldn't think so. No. But just everything in, is going on. Look at Hong Kong. What a fucked up deal that is. Which oh. part of it? The, the, them losing their, being going back to the Chinese rule compared to when it was under the British. Oh, and there ain't a more fucking bigger loser in the world than Queen Elizabeth who just died. She lost more fucking territory than anybody in their history hey, of the life. Hey, she life. just died. Be easy on her. R. She R. also P. lost a grandson, okay? R.I.P. He withdrew. Well, he still. she still lost him. He voluntarily withdrew. What? Who died? Well, she, no, uh, he, him and he, Megan. He, he, uh, he recused his uh, William. lordship. William. Oh, who gives two oh, shits? And, yeah, fuck, Harry. Fuck her. Oh, Megan. yeah, Harry she and Harry. Megan. Dude, she was a lizard. Huh? Uh, Logan Type that firmly in. believes she's a <laughs> lizard person. Queen Elizabeth. Lizard. Lizard. Well, I guess you got Liz. Why do you think that? Well, she actually did good things. I mean, she was I, a pretty good ambassador for not, her area. Not knocking that up, but she's an evil and lady. And Logan, for some reason, thinks she's a lizard. Her husband is one of the most evil, vile men that ever lived in the world. Correct. 
reptilian conspiracy continues after her death. <laughs> Lizard. <laughs> See? He's told out there, you. man. He's out there. <laughs> You're out there on that one. I'm ha- Very I, I have to disagree with you on that one. No, I, it's, that's not one that I really fall into, but that... I, I follow several conspiracy channels because I, I get pretty deep into them. He's that's in it. that's He's one in of them. It. Her what what are they saying that she is extraterrestrial and her her family was well, not just her. There's lots of lizard people. Yeah, well, there's like a huge rept, aliens. Rept, no, What's rept, their names? reptilians. They have a name for them. Reptilians. Is that what it is? The Greys. The reptilian the... elite. No, that's that's aliens. The Greys. Haven't you ever heard like or seen videos of uh, Elvis shape shifting? There's <sighs> been. He doesn't understand CGI and editing now. Dozens of people. He's like, look at this video. Tell so me this couldn't be real. So you think Elvis was a reptile? Because there's also too? that no, one of Bill Hader. A reptile. There's I'm just Bill saying Hader. This, this shit's no. out there. Bill Hader oh. is on like a Tonight Show, and every character it, he does, he morphs into that character, but it's clearly like CGI. No, 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 no. When he turns into Tom Cruise? He turns into Tom Cruise, and I think he turns into like Steve Car- Carroll. He's and, a lizard. So back to, back to Queen Elizabeth. <clears throat> I, but did she ever shapeshift? No, no, she just had a black eye one time, but like not like a black eye like us, like her whole entire eye was black. Maybe was she weird. got roughed up one night. Dana White just roughed up his wife. Typing so. Queen Elizabeth black eye. Okay, so you, you sorry, think, sorry, sorry Jamie, I don't mean to keep. Hey, pull that up. Pull you that think up, Queen Jamie. Elizabeth's a bad person? Uh, I don't think that anybody gets that wealthy without probably being a. They good were person. already wealthy. That was the wealthiest that family I would in the agree world. With. I think she had Princess Di killed. I yes. do too. I think I her husband that. did. Well, that was an inside job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks the, like she got whacked. That fucking eye. <laughs> Look at that. But must, I mean, she's must old. Be a lizard. Look at that. She's old. She's a lizard. You've never seen a bloody eye before. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I'll I tell you my thoughts on Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. I think I think Queen Elizabeth got put into a tough seat that she was never intended to I do. I mean, it was healing right there. Because of her uh, her uncle, who was the king. Lizards heal too, Andy. But her dad was really Absolutely. a cool Her dad was a cool dude. Like was to he? hunt. I mean, but he was a king. I mean, he was, he was that whole fucking thing. That's the evil fucker right there. Yeah, they did the. That's that was her husband. Oh yeah, that yeah, guy yeah. looked. He was an evil piece of shit. He was supposed to be a vampire, now, wasn't he? You, he you was call an evil him a piece of shit. Yes. He so I heard he was he was kin to Dracula. Yes, he was a German. Yes, dude, they're all vampires. vampires they all fucking drink. Uh, drink he can be chrome. traced back to the original Dracula and Transylvania. They're, yes, they've got could. some weird shit going on over there with that whole family, and now they got Mar- Megan, whatever the fuck name her hey, name is. Megan Markle. You've seen that about Bohemian Grove in California? Oh God, yeah. You know all about that. Yeah, that's what, that's that's child. It, that's entry that's level play to you. That's one hundred and one. He's, he's deeper than what, that. What do you think? I understand. What do you think happens with the royal family? Because everything that the woke media and stuff go for now, that the, they got rich off of. Yeah, I mean, from colonization, slavery, uh, getting paid for. I mean, just the, the royal family is a fucking mess. It has been for years, and it's a fucked up system. Well, now it's just uh, the only way that the royal family gets money, which I think it's hundreds of millions of pounds or whatever a year. The British government actually pays them. Well, there's right? two basically ways. Just one from to, their lands, which they have extensively. Yes. Lot. And two, they do get paid as a tax item, as a budget item, because of their tourism draw. I think that I think they get 50, 50 million dollars a year. The family U.S. dollars, somewhere close to that, is what they get a year. And then they have tens of thousands of acres, big time land, right. and so, they have royalties. The royal jewel. What are the crown ro- jewels worth? Billions of dollars, I'd probably say tens of dollars at least. Yeah, tens. I mean, upwards of tens. Yeah, but they've got the crown jewels. They own stuff all over the place. She used to be dabbling their horse races and stuff. They've got tons of money. Six billion dollars is what the crown jewels are worth. Six billion dollars. Four to six billion with a B. Yes. What the fuck are they? What? what which puts them about three thousand ru- dollars in pawn shop. Rubies, emeralds, diamonds. Just I mean, all it's, kinds it's of shit. It's actually just jewels. It's yeah. stuff that they've taken from other countries. Given and also that they pass down for hundreds goofy, of years. Yes. It's so that goofy shit. hat that she wears. It's mostly it's that, that crown. It's mostly the hat. That so. crown. Look at that some bitch. Six billion dollars for that fucking. Well, no, thing. no, that's not just no, for the crown. No. That's her whole collection. That's her, right? her collections worth six billion dollars. Oh. So I mean, just her well, fucking lids. Like? Were... I mean, I type in crown jewels, and that's a, well, so maybe like that over there, the collection of they, shit. It's not just that. It's the, I mean, the rings, pearls, necklaces. Look at the necklace she's wearing on the bottom right, right there. I think it all is encompassed. It's everything. Look yes. at the diamond in that heart thing necklace pendant. Yeah. That was at the bottom of the Titanic. M- matter of fact, one of those somebody's stealing it in that one picture. No, one of those jewels <laughs> that they have. <laughs> Came from India, and the Indian people want it back. And I think it's that one on the right, right there at the the, the, the middle, the middle right. No, down, 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 down. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, right. Where's your cursor at? Okay, the one up from that. 
up one more little bit oh, right that there. One? That thing right there, I believe, is comes from the from India. And somehow, when they decolonize India, the people from India want that shit back. And it's Wouldn't never made you? It back. I'd yes, want that I would back. too. And I can't remember. No what shit. It's if worth. it's worth six billion, like no, I mean, it's not worth six. Billion. I know the that, but is. if you go off of In the percentage, aggregate. right? The thing might be worth a hundred million dollars. a lot of money. I mean, it's, to a poor country, yes, that's so much worth. That'll feed some people. But they gave all that stuff back when she was in power. All them countries and all that stuff came back. Or just give you a little fuck around money. And, yeah. But when you go to Bermuda right now, they get a they get a tax dollars out of Bermuda and stuff. I don't know how all that works, but they still give that family a bunch of money. Now I, I don't know if it's oil royalties or whatever it is, but it's a it's a really screwed up deal, a screwed up system. And I can't India. believe the people believe. One hundred five carat diamond. They want it back. Painful memories of the colonial past. That's a big diamond. Now That's here's my problem diamond. with the colonial past. How far back do we go? Well, if you go too far back, it's terrible. I was just simply talking about the queen. Last when she took over as queen, she did a lot of ambassador work that right. I thought tried to better the area around her. I think you're right. right. The royal family from its beginning is awful. No, I just mean by just the whole colonial talk. Like, because everybody's saying that we should give the land back to the indigenous people. What about the people that they took it from? That don't count, though. Or what about the people that they... I mean, Did how, the indigenous people take it from somebody? Are we talking about on America here? Yes, or or anything that's over overseas. I mean, Everything na- was the fought and paid native, for. Right? Well, they, they crossed the land bridge. Hold, hold on, though. What, what, which natives are we talking about? Are we talking about the Apaches, the Comanches, the Inuits? Because they all fought and killed them, each other. Or do we give it to oh, the... No, they definitely all fought. Or do we give it to I'm the original... I'm just clarifying what he means, who's the originals. Right. Do, but that's... So that goes to what Jeff says. Do we give Texas back to the Comanches that were here? Do we give uh, Florida to the... Uh, what, Seminoles? Oh, breaking up tribe by tribe. Right. Or like... Oh. Or how how far do we go back? That's where, what I'm saying. Where you're farming at now? Is that Seminole Cherokee land? What is it? We had several. Sioux. The we Sioux had, Indian? We had uh, several different tribes. But do we stop and right I can't there? Remember which ones they so are. Or do been, we or do we go back even further to when like they we're started? We're a melting pot of tribes right in that corner. But what would you do if Chief Big Pockets came to you and said, Hey, I want my land back? Are you just gonna walk away from it? Fuck no, y'all worked hard for that stuff. You know? I don't. We're, how how big are cheap? We're too big far gone pockets. now. It, They're not going to pay for it. You're going to give it back. But now. you can say you're not going to give it back and still feel like it's a shame how our ancestors got. I'm it. not saying I'm not saying that at all. But our ancestors did nothing that their ancestors didn't do. There ain't an Indian tribe out there that didn't rape and pillage and kill other Indian tribes. And I must say that. So let me go back on this. This is a ninety percent or ninety percent of the Indian tribes did do that. Ten percent of them probably were. Well, Native good. Americans. I don't even know. Native, Native Americans a, didn't possess land. They didn't believe in ownership of it. That's not true. They Some just of them did. occupied. Well, okay, okay, right. occupied. Same they thing were we're doing. We're just occupying too. Excuse me. Well, no, we, we, put, we put boundaries. <laughs> yeah, but but there was that the, line right there. there that door. There was a tribe in Montana that did not fight and stuff. And guess what ended up happening to them? They got taken got over, and killed. Yeah. They're going to take care. No, you know, the, but they dressed up in big robes and stuff. And I wish I was just listened to deal about it the other day and read about it, but I can't remember the name. But it, I mean, the Indians fought, the Sioux fought the Cherokees or whoever it is. I don't know, but they all fought and they all killed and they robbed from each other. And for 50 years, this Indian one. tribe would be running a big area. And then for 50 years, it'd be another good. one. And this oh, happened shit, for sorry. hundreds and hundreds of years. So they're just as guilty as our people are. What we did was we modernized this place, you know, through a lot of horrible things. The worst thing we ever did is what they did to him in uh, Deadwood City and uh, Mount Rushmore, that area right there. That's where I'm we, going for a bachelor took, party. We took it away from him, Not me. and then we found gold, or we gave it to him and said, hey, this is your land. This is bad lands or yours because it ain't worth a shit, so here you can have it. And then they find gold, and they're like, fuck it. You get the fuck out of here. Some of the ways we went about getting some of it was pretty terrible. It's horrible. It's pretty shitty. Terrible. But that's the way the but world yeah, was. Thing with the, Oklahoma, the indigenous though, too, people right? were historically yeah. very rough on each other, mm-hmm. uh, some tribes more than others. And it's nothing different than we would still do today um, to keep your own family or your people alive. What, right. what, what do we if still push doing? push came to shove, yes. a lot of people have some evil in them. So if you're running out of food on your land mm-hmm. and, you know, your apocalypse, you're going to go to your neighbors and you're going to do right. what you got to do. The same stuff That's that happened then doing, right? is happening now in Africa and a lot of places. In country, they fight amongst them. And what happens? And it would happen here again if needed. The, 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 the big, mean United States gets involved in that shit in the CIA because they get involved with that crap and just won't leave stuff alone. Well, we're doing the same. Out, yeah. There's no. We're doing the same thing. The Amazon is going to be one of the next big fights over all that forest land and stuff down there. 
and and, and it's gonna well, be well. The Sunnis and the Shiites over in the Middle East, they've been fighting over the same shit for two thousand years. We can't keep our nose out of other people's business. No, because no, since Jesus, but they've been mad at each other. Yeah, they've been every off lobbyist forever. in the country out there is finding a way for a company to make extra money by being in the middle of it. You're That's right. what it's all about. You are right. But the our country did the same thing that the Indians did for years. They fought and battled each other. We just modernized shit. I mean, this this sounds We didn't do anything terrible. different than England did. No. I mean, whenever they came in. It was the English. There wasn't uh, the United I, States of I America. I understand that. But, <laughs> but yes. But nobody ever goes back that far and is no. like, oh, well, they should give... Who would we give England back you to? Get a, if you go back so long, you get a pass because it was just brutaler times, so they give them a pass. Yes. I'm not yeah. saying it's right, but you get a pass. Let's you not should. compare ourselves to England. They're a bunch of cucks. Well, we got but, out of that. But, we got out of that relationship. Medieval evil times, get when, a pass. When, we broke up. It was the, a tough breakup. When the Norsemen came here... Or Columbus, whoever who never even made it to the America, Norsemen. but the Norsemen, let's say, because I think they were the first people from Europe to actually come to America. Yes. Whoever was when they got here on their boats, they come here and they had wheels, they had chariots in, in Roman times and stuff. They get over here and what's happening? We're dragging people around. They hadn't even invented a wheel yet over here. Yeah, that's true. And did not know how to iron ore. Yeah, yeah, so mm-hmm. or iron. That's that's right. Whatever. So what mm-hmm. happened was we Bourbon. came over here Whiskey. and all these natural resources are here and we'd done something with it. People act like if we never would have been here, that all of a sudden there'd be this huge, big bastion of land, Utopia. and all these, yeah, all these Indians would be over here shooting buffaloes with wooden with wooden sticks and stuff. Now that ain't the way the world is. They'd be fighting each other. Yeah, well, and they'd have modern shit because they'd have, somebody else would have come over and taken them over. Someone else would. Have but I mean, right. that's just the way the world was. They'd and be if you don't adapt, sticks. you do get overcome. Yes, that is true. And, and we did not adapt. Over, they did not adapt, and they lost. That's true. If the Indians would have had bare compound bows and shit, they'd have beat our ass. There ain't no doubt about it. But the next wave coming over here would have had guns. If and they this. would have had the Henry repeating rifle. Yes. And that's just the way it goes. And if if uh, if Adolf Hitler, I'm going to talk about Hitler for a second. <clears throat> if he would have had uh, about. <laughs> tough, go ahead. Go ahead. Tough ye. transition. Go ahead. Ye. About three more months <clears throat> with the jet and the missile system, we probably all be speaking German right now. No, too. because they said when Hitler started losing the war, he just started exterminating more Jews. He didn't pull resources to try to win the war. He yeah, just I'm, I'm, he put all of his eggs on. I need to put as many Jews to the extermination camp. I had to be careful there. I need to to I need to exterminate as many Jews possible. He did not focus on winning the war. He focused on his pet project. He had a lot right. of hate in his heart. <clears throat> he a lot did. of hate in that. Very man. evil man. Very very evil man. So he was uh, Hitler. <clears throat> yes. Eh, I never heard about that. Definitely one of the worst. That's an interesting. Mm-hmm. That's an interesting theory. Top five. Um, and some of his his dogs that worked for him were as bad or worse than he was. I but believe. he had, yeah, he had some evil minions. Yeah. He would he would take like six or seven baths a day. He was very disgust sensitive. It's like Scheib. like eagle. Which <laughs> which so. If you are disgusted by something, what do you want to do to it? Get rid of it. You want to exterminate it. Oh. He was disgusted yeah. by the Jews, the gays, and the gypsies. So that's why that was his target audience of putting them in the uh, concentration camps. Hmm. I didn't know he was big against the gypsies. Jews, gypsies, and gays. Who isn't that. big against the gypsies? I don't ever deal with any gypsies. There's no, everybody hates the gypsies. I can't walk down the street without seeing a gypsy and want to throw up in my fucking mouth. Y'all have them where you live at? <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't have them here. Oh, we have a shitload of gypsies. Aren't gypsy chicks no hot? Gypsies. We have no, no, no gypsies. Not where we're Missouri. from. Because that gypsy, have you ever seen that? <laughs> no gypsies. <laughs> Zero gypsies. Y'all don't but have... gypsies are always so I've cool never, in the I've movies. I've never seen a gypsy. But he's always ready to encounter one. Have but you... whenever I see one, so it makes me go. Have caravans and shit? That gypsy <laughs> weddings and shit? Those girls are always hot. Have you ever noticed that shit? Oh, yeah. Some weird shit, too. Tyson but it, Fury's it's a the gypsy. Bright but I had, yes. I had a guy that gypsy was... Gypsy King. I had a guy hunting with me that had some concrete work done by gypsies, and he said, I would never let them some bitches do any work for me again because they screwed him around. Well, yeah, they're gypsies. They're gypsies. They talk That's fast. Right. You've seen Sna- you haven't seen Snatch because he doesn't like I don't like Caravan. I don't like What about a caravan? has got a fucking wheels. You like digs? What? Digs. You like digs? Oh, dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, digs. <laughs> I guess I've not seen Snatch. You got to watch Snatch. Snatch. Fuck it, I'll do the fire for free. It's on, Net- <laughs> it's on Netflix it. or Amazon Prime or something. It is a water. What's it about? It is uh, it's it's like, a, it's like it. a crown. It's like a jewel thief. Kind it's of. a Guy Ritchie film. It's kind so it's of about a, everything. It's kind wonderful. of a sequel to Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. And it's just I don't think I saw that. Why the fuck going to a caravan with no fucking kind windows? Of for? English <laughs> English mob, and it's just a fun uh, heist type movie where the gypsies are fucking people over. And it's Brad, really good. It's Brad one of my it's phenomenal. one of my favorite movies. It's yeah. Very good. It is a very very, very entertaining. Good movie. It's not a drama, really. It's just very. No, it's entertaining. just fun. Yep. It's fun, fun from movie. start to finish. We've been going here. Uh, uh, two hours and ten minutes. Oh shit! We're gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. I've got to go scout in a minute. Yeah, we got to go to the yeah, Cap Rocks. Andy, are we gonna? What are y'all scout? going to? We're going to the Cap Rocks. Cap Rock. 
So you won't be here for dinner tonight, then? No, no. It's only... Th- where are you going? We're exactly. going. To, we're going to Guthrie. That's so you won't be back for dinner? It's 30 we'll minutes away. It's fucking 30 minutes away. If you get I, us you out said of no here. a minute ago, so I didn't know what the fuck you were talking I was about. with you. No, okay. we're, we're just going to swing up by Guthrie and come back That's around. That's not the cap. Right? Please don't tell me you're going to go kiss them liberals' asses up there at that force. You couldn't do shit. this? No, 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 no. You couldn't do this tomorrow? Well, I guess we could, but no, we're, fuck you. we're going pheasant, to You're pheasant hunting tomorrow. We're going pheasant hunting tomorrow, I hope. Right. What, do you guys want to podcast all night or something? Yeah. Andy's supposed to go get us on a stork. You guys want to fucking get fucked up and podcast all night? No, we're going to fix our scout, but... If y'all are going up there to the sixes, you are you going to the supply pee. house? I ought to be no, getting, we ought to be getting a commission from the sixes. As many of our hunters have left, everybody goes they come there. back. Everybody from out of state wants to go to the four sixes. It's thirty minutes away, and they come back wearing four six shit. It's like, listen, we got Stanfield hunting swag here. You know, we're not we're not Kevin Costner's liberal ass. I do. Stuff, we're probably not even going to make it to the four sixes. I want to say something real quick. We are not going to the sixes. <clears throat> we have a route that we like to it's go tradition. and buy on. And we just cruise up around it. Some so call it the hill to? country. I call it home. Yeah. Where are you going to? We'd go up, we, uh, go basically over, up, go up through Guthrie left. and then come back down through take that. Take a left out the main highway there. and uh, Yeah, go, go across the Brazos, up through Guthrie. Brazos. And, uh, Guthrie. What the fuck ever. You'll like. know this when you move to Texas. So you're going to Guthrie, and then you're going to come straight back from Guthrie? We just well, make a loop. No, we make, we make a, loop. a loop. Where does you loop from Guthrie? That's what's Aspermont? confusing me. That's like Aspermont or Paducah and Kroll. We Post- get on this Paducah fucking highway right. out there. Not this one, but you know the main team right. out there. You go, to, take you go to Guthrie. And you're going to take 82 and go and to Guthrie. And then we kind of take it right there and loop back around and get back on this highway. But you drive down this huge hill, and there's a big-ass valley, and there was a thunderstorm that rolled through last time we went People through. People cheer our names. They throw flowers. It's beautiful. Okay, right I, was, I was tornado chasing up there last year, and I'm sitting on the side of the road waiting for the storms to pop off. <laughs> trying to figure out where y'all go. And this lady comes. They go to Guthrie and just make a sloop through Guthrie and come right back. No, and we don't take no. this same way Could back. You not make they it get, sound get off so the pathetic. road. Okay. Uh, there's nowhere to go between Guthrie and here straight back. You either go to Aspermont or you go to Paducah to crawl down Highway uh, 6. Ah, Paducah. And it's not as pathetic as it sounds. Okay. It's tradition. So anyways, I'm sitting there. We're sitting it's there. Our thing. Watching, just waiting for the storms Everybody's to pop up. Everybody's got their thing. this suburban drives by with this lady and these kids, like three ladies and some kids, and they drive by, and they look at us, and they drive, and they come back by, and we're there again. Comes back a third time. That lady rolls down her window, and I have my window down. She goes, what are y'all doing? I said, oh, we're waiting for the kangaroos to move. She's like, huh? What a dick. I said, uh, the kangaroos. I said, they just were coming by here a minute ago, and we're going to try to get some on film. Where so we got cameras right? and shit. She Where goes, are we, Andy? She goes, we have kangaroos Where out here. We? I said, yeah, right in this field. They're here all the time. We're taking pictures of them. I've lived here my whole life. I didn't know we had kangaroos around here. Do you have I a go, mouse running the internet wheel here? I said, we are uh, the waiting for tor- thunderstorms. We are tornado chasing. So there's no kangaroos. I go, no, man, there's no Holy shit. <laughs> I'll come back. Let me circle back. But, you know, out here in the middle of nowhere, you don't see right, people. Hockey. And she saw his cameras and like, what the hell are you guys doing here? Waiting yeah, for kangaroos. kangaroos. <laughs> You're such a motherfucker, though. He is a dick. Isn't he? Okay, so but I do want to reiterate: we are not going to the four sixes. We don't give a fuck about that. We <clears throat> no, just no, 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 listen. No, no. If you want to go out there and get Kevin Costner's know... autograph on your dick, that's your deal. Don't. So we're here. Can you roughly? Does your maps not have roads? Oh here? yeah. So we it were gonna does. go do a swoop de do. So Guthrie is here, roughly. Is, is it? Do okay, you go now... to Paducah or do you go down to Jayton? No, you don't go Jayton. Go to Aspermont. We go. Oh, Jesus Christ! Monday. We definitely went right. south. We didn't go north. So we go where your cursor is that way. Do oh, you go south? Are okay. you being serious with this map? It's terrible. It's a horrible map. Can you get a picture? Are people going to see that? Okay. No, oh, right. that's a terrible so, map. So here's moron. <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> we're, so you go south. You don't go north up to Paducah. No, we, we go west first. Yeah, and we're head right. west from Knox City. Got three. Uh, yeah. yeah. Once then, you get to Guthrie, that's like we know where Guthrie is. What are y'all doing after y'all get to Guthrie? But I swear, I know we we I took felt it. like we went north and then we looped back around. North is Paducah. Did we go north? I thought we went south. Who gives a fuck? Doesn't fucking matter, <laughs> dude. But we you got you got you got scenery to go see. We're going for like an hour and a half car ride. Okay. 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 Here. All right. Knox City's here. This is Guthrie. Okay. Right here. You're gonna go to yeah. Guthrie. When you go to Guthrie, you need to go to Aspermont and go around, or you go to Paducah and you go all the way to Kroll and come down Highway 6 to Benjamin in here. Which one takes us through the hill country? There is no hill country. <laughs> you're about more, five you're hours. more hill than where we're sitting You're right five now. hours away. You're right. We went uh, we went north because we came back through Benjamin. You go to Paducah yeah. to Kroll and down that way. You will oh, never make okay. it back to dinner unless you go right now. That's 30 minutes. So Paducah is an hour away, well, and then from Paducah to Kroll is another 30 minutes, and they're 30, so it's two hours. Dinner's at 6. You well, better get going. Well, first off, it's not a set route. We're just going to go take a cruise and look at Texas. Okay, That's well, right. there's that is a set route if you go that way. There's nothing nowhere else to go. We're, gonna, we're, we're not gonna, going that We're going to figure out where Logan is going to uh, no, set route. Go we'll be back here by 6. Andy, are you even going scouting? I yes, am. Yes, we're fixing to go yeah, right I've now. Gotta, I've got to go. 
God Evidently. bless y'all. Thank y'all for being on. We appreciate it. We love you guys. Uh, even though you kind of rude to me sometimes, don't take my, return my call for three I love months. you so much. Is that here you're going to send us out? That's it? Just God bless y'all. All right. We got to go. You Thank say? y'all for sitting here. It's been love you, bye. two hours, 15 <laughs> minutes. Uh, thanks for sitting through all this. This is a long one. It's always a pleasure sitting with you That's guys. Would you like to, anything you'd like to say to, you know, we've talked about gays and Jews and gypsies. Is there anything you want no, to No, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to you guys for having us down. It's, it's always uh, very hospitable. We had a great time. We had a great hunt. You got a lot of bourbon to drink there. I have a lot of bourbon to drink, and the food's been wonderful as well. Michelle's kind of the star of the show down here. Yep. But she is. She is. That's how you hack the system out here. You get in good with her. But we love you guys very much. But Rebel and I always do something in of all of our shows, so if you don't mind. Do it. Do you still have anything in that cup? I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Will you take a shot with us? I've taken shots. Well, it's just shooters. It's shooters, bud. We do shooters at the end of our show. Right. We want you to feel like home. He's going to put that in his tea? There There's no go. tea left. Oh, goodness. You just pour a little shot in you like the, said. You like the Evans, Evans Williams? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's not bad. There's a little, little something for you. A little light one. Nothing? Nothing too sure I have as much as you do. The key to Michelle and her food, he's got a hot tub trainer. Andrew needs some. No, I'm good. I got to you know, That's what it's about. I got to go scout. I understand. All right, fair enough. Too. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very Thank you. much. God bless. Cheers. I wish I had some fancy little fucking over the shoulder, through the gums. Here comes your boner. I don't know. I have none or something. I'm going to come. Rattlesnakes. Yeah, yeah. Rattlesnakes and condoms. Here's the know. honor. If you can't come in or come on. There you go. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, God. I love you both. Oh, my I love you. Bye. God, love you. Bye. Shit, what do y'all write that stuff? <laughs> Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, go check out all of our great sponsors. Go check out the Looking Glass uh, Duck Club podcast. Go to their Patreon. Get subscribed. You can hear all the craziness. Uh, The Hunt Proof app, Alpha Outdoor Specialties, Bangtail Whiskey, Stanford Hunting Outfitters, Dirty Duck Coffee, Ducks Unlimited, Double T British Kennels, Lucky Duck, Shin Gear Waders, Gundog Outdoors, Pacific Calls, Dive Bomb Industries, Boss Shot Shells, and Mossberg.